John Romero, and you're watching The Ark on Montclair Public Access, TOS TV3. Pastor One, Joseph, Joseph, Brian, Chad, can you? It's, well, I'm hearing a lot of, I'm hearing a lot of the ho the, the hooters are, are, are whistling. Can you, can you fix that, please? Hello. Check. No, no, Chad, I'm going to do deep voice. I'll do, I'm going to do deep voice. <clears throat> okay. Okay, ready? Joseph, Joseph. It sounds good, it sounds good. Richard Burnish Sr. Um, production uh, produced by the Richard Burnish Sr. Film Company. We're streaming to you live on Montclair Public Access TOS TV 3 on C-SPAN and a special hello to all of our callers from the internet as well. Great to have you here. Now, the prayer lines are open at uh, 1-909-345-6434. We're taking your calls. 
and again welcome everybody uh, to Into the Light, our Richard Burnish senior film production. So if you're recognizing, um, and, and also thank you to uh, Richard Burnish Senior Film Production Company and Richard Burnish Senior for uh, creating this new set, which apparently is much better than the other one and isn't an embarrassment to my, to my father. you yes, uh, so um, bef before we uh, we get started here let's start with a, a short prayer <clears throat> and I read as we gather here today to praise you for this day and your purpose for it Reset our agendas as we sit in your presence. For you assure us that we are two or more and we gather in your name and you are here. Lord, please recalibrate our intentions and refocus our hearts. Your will for our lives do not always reflect our plans. Change them to reflect your will. Help us to understand that we don't need full clarity to walk into the unique purpose you've laid before us in our lives. Lift our eyes to seek you first today and always surrendering our need to achieve, to understand and to be known. Shift our perspective to seek your peace above all else. In every situation we ponder in our daily lives, let the Holy Spirit translate your commands. Give us renewed strength and godly courage to obey you without questioning. Forgive us for striving beyond our means, worrying and forcing results. Please let your peace rain down on us today as we seek you more than anything else. In Jesus' name, amen. Chad, can you, can you remove that? Can you please remove? Thank you. Okay. If I can please get a um, amen in the chat. Um, now, before we open the lines, we just want to take a moment to thank our production company, Richard Burnish Sr., and all the work again. We really want to stress uh, how important his help was for this um, beautiful creation. Okay. Um, we see Walter, who's joining us today. We see Greta, who's joining us today. Welcome, Greta. Ed, welcome. Tiffany, welcome to you. Harpy, welcome to you. Okay, praise be Wayne. Wayne Woolsey, welcome to you. Sefi, welcome to you. Not in my... Okay. Pearson, welcome. White Castle, Welcome. Welcome, Alex Johnson. Praise be to you, Alex. There's so many familiar faces that I'm seeing. Joe. Joseph. Max. Joda. Welcome, Greta. Welcome, Jelly. We're very grateful to have you um, here with us. I am talking with my hands. I'm using my hands. Keep talking. I'm using my hands. Our prayer lines are open. Uh, thank
thank you for the compliments on my uh, new haircut. Um, it was, I just want to make it super clear that it was, it was my decision to cut my hair. Um, it was my decision. Uh, no one, um, influenced that decision. It was time, um, to cut it. Uh, it was quite long and it was time. It was my, it was my choice. I just want everyone to know that it was my choice to choose to cut my uh, hair. Okay. So that being said, let's, let's open the phone lines. Let's open them up. Let's open up those lines and move over and move over here to line one where we have David. Hello, David. You're live on the program. Oh, hi. How welcome, are you, Richard? Welcome to the show, uh, David. I'm doing very well. You're live on uh, Into the Light on Montclair Public Access. You're looking very nice with that suit. Very sexy. <laughs> Richard? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much for, for that compliment there, David. What can I help you with today? I just want to know how the arc is coming. How long will we have to wait? Oh, um, well. Uh, is it even started? The, it, well, David, it hasn't been started yet, but we are so close. Why? We are so close. We are still waiting for the donations. And once we have enough, mm. it, very soon, David, and you're just probably, you're just as excited as me to set foot on it. But we need, we need patience yeah. this last little bit. Is it ever going to be finished? Be honest, Richard. David, when it's finished, you will not believe how beautiful it is. You're not going to believe everything that's there. There's going to be... As long as it's nice and hard. That's all I care about. Well, each plank of wood is blessed by the woman. So, if that means anything, uh, which I think it does, we're in for one heck of a, heck of a ride together. Okay. How was your relationship with your father? Because last time it kind of concerned me about how he yelled at you. Um, Did he spank you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, he flew in from Alabama to uh, help produce this show that you're watching tonight, Into the Light, um, uh, a production by Richard um, Burnish senior. Um, he just helped to make everything a little bit better around here. Um, teaching me proper, uh, ways to, uh, use my hands. Um, while, um, while, 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 while broadcasting live <laughs> and, and things like that. So, uh, we're very grateful for his influence on the show tonight. And I think everyone here would agree that, uh, it's all for the better. Everything here is better. Is he in the studio right now? Um, uh, no, he's not in this. Um, no, he's not here in the studio. It's it's just me and my producer, Chad. Okay. Is he, is he hard too? Are you all hard there? Well, we're excited about the new platform and we're, we're, we're looking forward to bringing this show to new heights. And and with the, with with the okay. help of uh, with the help of uh, R Richard Burnish Senior, um, we intend to uh, change lives. Caller, thank you, David. Okay, be wait, be be honest with me. Is your father a dick? Is he? Is he rude? Did he spank you as a child? Okay, Richard. okay. thank you. Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you, caller. Um, Okay, well, thank you for your call. We're gonna um, the the, the prayer uh, prayer fax lines are open as always, and uh, we look forward to, to to hearing to hearing from you. Um, let's go over to line two. 
where we have our next our next caller hello caller hello well uh, hello caller welcome to into the light uh, hello this is dimitri strelnikov currently living in train near varikino hiding from the white forces i'm detecting a little bit of a of an accent caller i might have to ask you to speak slowly for uh, a lot of our our, our viewers uh, may not be quite used to uh, your accent Oh, so, sorry, sorry. You know, I pray the partisans will come back. Anyway, you can... I'm, I'm Dimitri Strelnikov, but you can call me by my hip-hop name. Dimitri123. Do Dimi you want to hear a hip-hop song I did? Dimitri123. Well, <laughs> you know what? Those are Those are my favorite numbers right there. Number one, number two, number three, because it's gold, it's metal, and it's bronze. And I, I would love to hear that, Dimitri. I'd love to hear your track. Yeah, I, I did it about you. It goes like this. Yo, you drink dead cream. You have no dream. I drink vodka. I drive Lada. My car is big. So is my dick. Bling, bling, cheeky, bricky. I kick your ass in Counter-Strike. You are a dyke on a spike. Cheeky, bricky, bling, bling. How do you like song? Well, um, I, I must admit it was... It was your your accent is a little difficult to understand, but it, it sounded like it had a good, it had a good groove to it. It really had. Well, I, it was coming from the heart. I could really sense that you're an artist in that way. Yeah, I, I, I have question for you, Ricard. You you say don't eat your seat, but mm -hmm. I can tell you, looking at life through the eyes of a tire top, eating seeds is the best time activity. The toxicity of our city. Of our city. So, what do you own the world? How do you own this order? Well, what I'm saying, um, don't eat your seed. I'm, I'm referring to, uh, like, your money, right? Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are 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 caught in a, they're caught in a whirlwind, a, a struggle, right? They're taking their, they're receiving their 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 money, and they're just spending it on frivolous things, and they're empty inside. Now, I'm encouraging them to sow their seeds in the soil that I'm offering today, that I'm offering them today to get in with Jesus Christ so that he can, he can improve their lives. He can improve their lives and make them better and move in them. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah I, I think I do know what you mean, Rigard. And that's, and, that's what I'm, and that's what we're all about here. We're about getting people into Christ, Dimitri. No. Uh, you know... You know, with Christ, I have problem. I have wife, Oksana. Oh. Oksana is is a not nice wife. It's a bit ugly and hairy, but Oksana was raised by dogs. So Oksana can't really speak. She's always barking. She makes good food and she makes good blini. But Oksana is like dog in head. What can I do to make Oksana normal babushka? Um, is Oksana your wife, Dimitri? Yeah, yeah, Oksana is wife, duh. Well, um, I think that uh, if you if you have asked her to wear um, the babushka and she is, is still refusing to wear the babushka, um, I believe well, that you... Barks. She's you, like dog. She's like woof, 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 dog. Because she was right. raised by straight dogs, you know, rudel of dogs. Well, I if you view you know, like if, Laika, if you like 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 went to the moon in the Soviet rocket and she's like raised by many like us. What type of dogs are we? What what what, what uh, brand? What brand of dog? Uh, I don't I don't know. Brand is like I don't know. It's like American system. Coca Cola brand brand. We don't have brands. Oh, like brand, brand um, like a brand could be Airedale, or well, a I brand think, a I brand think it was could. Like Wild stray poodles. I think poodle is the word you say in English. Poodle. Yeah, with uh, it's actually with a it's poodle with a t. Poodle. Um, ah, was, yeah, well, yeah, if you, yeah. Dimitri, if you've if you've expressed uh, if this if if she is your wife, you know, and you've expressed her with your words that you would like her to wear the babushka, and she uh, is refusing, um, then there's nothing else to do. Then I think that it, you know, she is your property. Um, you can enforce that. Yeah. You could you could tell her 
um, that the time for speaking is over and she will put this on now. And, and as her husband, you are entitled to do with her um, as, you, as, you, as you want. So um, my advice would be to uh, put it on by force. Oksana, Oksana, stop! Stop, Oksana! Oksana's bit me again, Rita! No, Oksana! Well, um, could, could, could you, could you... <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> um, I think we lost the connection there, um, with that call, but, um, as, uh, you're being the, the husband, uh, you are, uh, property of, your the wife is property so um take ownership okay we're off to a great start now our, our prayer lines are open here for our next call but first let's go over and listen to some of these testimonies here like this one from oakley who says I was on a call with you last week about helping further to spread the word of the Neon Bible here in the United Kingdom. Thanks for funding another church. We're going to find the best land to build it on and spread your word further across the British Isles. Thank you, Oakley. I love getting involved. I really do. We'll do one more and then we'll take another call. And these are all testimonies of lives changed forever. So for all of you wondering if this isn't real, this isn't fake, this is faith. Like this message from Samuel. After being inspired by Richard, I decided to quit my nine to five job and travel the country helping those in need. It's amazing how far a little faith goes. I am saved. You're in our prayer, Samuel. And thank you for your donation. Let's go over to our next caller. Hello, caller. You're live on Montclair uh, Public Access TOS TV3. This is Into the Light. Hello, Richard. How are you? Uh, very uh, well. Very well. As you can see, um, it's it's a great it's a great glorious day. How can I help you? Yes. Yes. It is. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, I've been a long-time fan of the show. And this week, I will be 30 years old. And I wanted to quickly tell the impact you had on my life. Uh, can I tell you very briefly, Richard? Because it, you have been yes. a huge light in my life. Of course. Okay. Amen. Amen. Let, let's, let's, let's start with, with the Neon Bible. The Neon Bible phase, as I call it. Well, I was a bad person, Richard. I really was a bad person. I was drinking, playing video games, and thinking about becoming a homo sapien. Um, but soon, you know, before succumbing uh, to the abyss, my friend Alexander Agrippa told me about your show. It was not so long after that that I got the Neon Bible and read it cover to cover. And oh jolly, <laughs> it got me on the right path, Richard. I have to tell you, it really did. Um, I'm, 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 I'm happy more to hear that. Person. I'm happy to hear that, but I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Oh, uh, Richard, Richard, you do a miraculous work, Richard. I cannot tell you enough the power that the Neon Bible had on my life. But as, as you, I think you already mentioned this, but... You also consider the Neon Bible uh, a step before the, the, the new Feasting Bible, correct? That's right, yes. Yes. So, I got uh, into... I, I, I felt that I was on the level that I wanted, but I could reach more when you started CMMA and Feasting. Yes, it's and about digging. It's it about really digging deeper and learning your physical, the, the physical limitations of your body, and how far, yes, and how Richard. hard can you push yourself? Uh, yes, that's exactly. The Neon Bible cleansed my soul, but 
but I needed my body to become strong, become strong like you, Richard. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's very uh, admirable, caller. I understand. So, uh, not long ago, I got uh, I, I I was you know sometimes I was beaten by some people, and I was afraid. That's why I got into CMMA and uh, fisting, uh, as per se. Well, there and comes I, a time where recall... if you have to kind of stand up for yourself. And when I wrote that book, yes, Rich. it was about, you know, my back was against the wall and I had to find a way to stop and take a part of, of God's plan and, and, and own it and say, no more will you be allowed to bully me. No more will you be allowed to make fun of me. And I took a stand that day. Yes. And there comes a time in everyone's yes, life where you have to become hard like that and fight back for yourself. Amen, Richard. Amen. Amen. So I, I started reading about fisting. Uh, and one day uh, I was in that exact same position that you were. I was in a dark alley and I was being bullied by three guys. I didn't know, know what did they you, wanted to, to did do. Did you to tell me. them? Did you tell them to stop? I tell them to stop, and they started laughing. Okay. They started okay. saying my body was weak. They they shouted because at my voice, uh, because I, I I don't have a, a masculine voice, Richard. Uh, I, my hair is not, you know, like yours, is masculine also. You, and today you have a, a very masculine haircut. I like to tell you that, Richard. Yeah, very, I would just, I would, I would like to say that this uh, haircut is um, my choice. Okay, okay. And they, they started beating me. That's what, what I wanted to say. But when they started beating me, I started to reach out into the to the readings of feasting and CMMA. And I felt in that moment, you inside of me, Richard, like you coming inside of me. And it gave me strength to stand up for myself. And I fought them and I beat them and I left at them in the end. And That's... it was all because of you, Richard, because I felt you feasting and you're feasting and I felt you coming inside of me that's why it gave me the strength to fight them and I want to tell you Richard God bless you because you. you were so many times the light in my life thank you Carlos that means the world to me I'm glad that you corrected that mistake thank you now, not everyone has a masculine haircut or has a, a, a deep, strong voice, but we need to stand up for each other. J uh, can you delete that from Jimmy? Can you? Thanks. Um, not everyone has a masculine voice or um, a physical, strong body to stand up, but together we can do this and stand up for one another. Caden, thank you. Let's go to our next caller here. Hold on, okay, okay. Indiana Jones says, Richard, me and my wife read the Neon Bible and we are always hard. Hard means strong. And my wife's landed a new job thanks to you. She sent me this photo of proof that miracles do work. Well, congratulations on the new job to the, to the Jones family. Bob Baskerville says, hello, Richard. I hear you've been hitting up my wife, Renee, in the dims. I would appreciate if you could stop since I am cuck and I only can get 
Okay. No. Th um, thank you for your 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 thoughts. Um, let's go to line three. Hello. Um, welcome to the uh, um, into the into the light. Call hey, it go hey, ahead. Oh. How you doing? Welcome to Into the Light. Um, please proceed. All righty now. Sorry to interrupt on your little film premiere. It's uh, it's me again, Frank Beener, United States Border Patrol. How you doing, Richard? Um, welcome, Frank. Uh, we've missed you. What can I help you with today? Well, I wish I was calling on better terms, but, uh... What is... Well... What is... What is <laughs> it's okay. are, are you crying? Are you okay? Yeah, right. sorry, I got allergies. Sorry, I got a I got a pollen allergy. <laughs> All right. It sounds. <laughs> it sounds. Um, it sounds like you might have a pollen allergy. That's that's what I said, Richard. Oh, I but, thought yeah, I you, thought that might be correct. I thought that might have been uh, what it was. So, Frank. What you, you 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 say that you have bad news? What's what's going on? Yeah, well, it's it, it's uh, it's it's not ideal. Um, we captured one of El Sinclair's foot soldiers on the El Paso border. Well, that sounds and, like uh, actually that sounds like very good news. Well, what um, is cock? Why do they talk to cock? <laughs> Chad, they keep Sorry. Typing, they keep typing "cuck" in the chat. What is that? Google, I, I Google think it. that Google means it. Chad, uh, Chad, Google, Chad. Sorry, go ahead. I was speaking to Chad. Chad, go ahead and Google that. Okay. Sorry, caller. Go ahead. Well, I can I can save Chad the trouble. Uh, that that would be a man who uh, who gets uh, cheated on. We don't like talking about that, caller. Let's let's talk about. Leroy here. Look, I'm just being real with you, Richard. I'm well, it's trying not to the keep type it of, It's not the type of program we have going on here today, Frank. I, I'm sorry, Richard. It's my pollen allergy. It's clouding my judgment. Anyway. Continue. Uh, well, uh, the foot soldier, his name was Lil Taco, and he said he, he had, uh, El Sinclair has dirt on you. That's, yeah, not poss that, that's not possible, Frank. There's no. Um, I live a very, I live a very clean cut life. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm put so that I'm to, just, be, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put that to bed right now. Um, I'm just relaying the facts to you, Richard. That's what happened. That's what he said. Are they saying Chuck or Cuck? Because that, because he's saying it's Chuck, like PV is Chuck's saying Chuck. Chuck's my cousin, Charles Boehner. Are oh, they talking Chuck. about my cousin Chuck? Chuck is his cousin. Okay, maybe it's your it's your cousin. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think a, it's your he's cousin. A, he's a country singer. Well, he's, that's, a, he's the guitarist for the Grant McDonald band. Oh, then perhaps they recognize that, and they're saying Chuck. Okay. Yeah, he he's, he played guitar on the the hit single "You Sure Are Hung." Yep, that was him. Anyway, Richard, uh, well, this little taco, he said, he said that El Sinclair knows that you drive an 05 Civic. That That's was right. the dirt. No, I drive, no, I drive a Prius. Well, he, he said something about an 05 Civic. Well, I don't drive a Prius. I own the Prius. Okay. Um, we've, I've quite a okay. few recreational vehicles. We've got the Ferraris and, 
and uh, and, and and some of the imports. But we also think for running errands, um, like if we need to go for to get milk or something like that, um, we use the the Prius. So. All right. Well, and there's another thing he he said. El Sinclair says you're also a protege. You were a protege to Kenneth Copeland. I trained with Kenneth. Did you fly his plane? No. You did? No. No? No. Well, you see, the reason I ask is, you know, Kenneth Copeland, he, he flew a plane for uh, that Oral Roberts show. Never heard and, of that. Uh, and, you know... Yeah, and uh, that Oral Roberts fellow, he said, let me teach you the ways of the the money-making church. And uh, I was just wondering if you did the same for Kenneth. No, no, um, no, no, that's not accurate. There's a, All right. a, there's a, there's, well, there's a gentleman in the chat here, and his name is Philip Connor, and he's saying, and, and I would like everyone in the in the chat to take a moment here and shame Philip uh, Connor. If they could just please shame type on you, Philip Connor. Connor shame. Because if he doesn't like this type of show. Philip Connor shame. If he doesn't like this type of show. Phil, type it please. Philip, every, there it is. Okay, we're seeing it now. Okay. If you don't like this Phil type Connor of show. Philip Connor can go drive a foreign car for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> And if everyone Richard, here can put the, together and, and encourage him to leave this playing and go watch Dexter, and everyone encourage him to just go watch Dexter, Philip Connor go watch should Dexter go watch and Dexter Breaking, Dexter bad, and and breaking bad and drive an import car like that. That's disgusting conversation. Unacceptable. Okay, Frank, we only have a little bit of time left for your call. What else can I help you with? Well, it was... There's one other thing. Apparently, El Sinclair has some weapons of mass destruction at Ram Ranch, and he plans to drop them on the Ark. Well, that can't be legal. We're talking. Yeah, it's it's not. I'm, you see, I'm trying to put as many guys as I can on it, but they cut our funding. Well, listen, Frank. We're down to you reach out two to me after of Twinkies a week now. You reach out to me after the show, and we'll we'll fund you, okay? R Richard, he's got the big pop. He's got the big pop of atomic missile. We're talking fifty kilotons of payload. Okay. That's a lot of payload, Richard. Okay, well, Frank, let's, Richard, let's, you got to be careful. Frank, Frank, we'll we'll. Uh, rest assured, we will fund your operation. Thank you for, for calling, Frank. Um, Be careful, thank Richard. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for that call. And also a thank you to some of the friends that I'm seeing. If everybody uh, also in the chat... on the I'm When I say in the chat, I'm talking to the people on the internet. So everybody at home who's wondering what I'm talking about when I say the chat. Um, this show is also being broadcasted on the internet. So everyone on their TV sets, you can't, you can't say, you know, hi or something like that. I'm talking to the internet fans here, the internet uh, viewers. I want everybody in the chat to acknowledge Carl. He's been a long time friend of the show and he's very sick. I was hoping that everybody could just say a short message. It's just get well, Carl. 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 Look at their <laughs> Chad. They're get what? Get get wet. Um, get well, Carl. Get well, Carl. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Let's go over to the next call. 
right after these. Bud, who says, Richard, it's Bud from Montclair Waffles and Worship Prayer Breakfast. I wanted to thank you again for helping out my little son, uh, Little Zip Heimlich. He has nothing but love for you. Thought I'd send you, sorry, I thought I'd sow a seed for both of, you, uh, both of us tonight. I wanted to thank you again for helping out my little son. He has nothing but love for you. Thought I'd sow a seed for both of us tonight. Well, thank you for that, bud. Or this one. From Michael, who says, Glorious day, Richard. You have helped me reconcile things with my wife, and now I feel content about our marriage. I hope this $30 donation is enough to show my appreciation. Thank you, Richard. Well, Michael, it's not enough, but it's a start. And I thank you for that. Let's go over to the next caller. Hello, you're you're live on the program. Welcome to the show, Mister uh, Mister Burnish. How are you? I'm doing very well tonight. How are you? Oh, good, good. Oh, I'm well. I'm well. Uh, my name is Reginald, and I'm a, I'm a poet uh, based out of Austin, Texas. Uh, and I was hoping. Um, Kind of in light of of your new uh, look overhaul, I see that you kind of changed your appearance, and I, I think you look dashing and fantastic. Well, thank you. Um, I just want I, I was, just wanted I just want to interrupt you and let you know that that was yeah. that was my choice. Right. Oh, good. Well, you you made a fantastic choice, and I'm sure you had fantastic influences in your fashion. Uh, you know, your your fashion sense. I can tell that you you're you're a man of, of taste. Uh, and, and it is appreciated, and it, it adds to the overall quality of your product. So uh, I do appreciate that. Thank you, caller. Now, what can I help you with? Yeah. Well, um, I, I thought I would contribute something to the universe of, of, uh, of, your, of your show. I, I think that it is, uh, again, something of class. And poetry, of course, is, is very, very class. Uh, it, it is it is a class act, you could say, uh, to to read and to write poetry, and I think we need some of that class. I've heard a few a few prank callers uh, on on the show today and in, and, in, and in recent memory, and uh, I think it would be fantastic if if we did a poetry reading. And I, I wrote a I wrote a poem for you actually, uh, specifically about uh, your show and 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 what you do. I would very much love to hear it, and I think everyone would also love to hear it as well. Good. Good. This poem is called No Grappling, No Gaiety. And if I may have your permission to read it, I would very much like that. Go ahead. Okay. To be truly holy, the way is CMMA. No grappling, no gaiety. That is the way for me. Through thick and thin, the word within says, praise the holy Lord. I am but man with simple plans. I praise the neon word. Richard Burnish is a king, an influential being. With flowing locks and giant cock, a sexy stud is he. Richard stroke. <laughs> Holy cock <laughs> with bigger pro uh, we'll, we'll be um right back.
We'll turn it up. And welcome back um, to the show. Uh, we've got an exciting show ahead. Uh, coming ahead. We have the kids cabin. We have your phone calls. We have prayer and we have song. And our and our and, and our our fax line is open as well, taking vows of faith. Like this. Saying, Praise be Richard. After reading the Neon Bible cover to cover, you've taught me such viable lessons that the other versions of Bible of the, of the Bible wouldn't. Now I feel safe on the internet and in this modern day world. God bless you and have a great day. Well thank you. Or this. Who says, Hi Richard, my name is Don Wilson. I am a trucker and proprietor of the fastest growing trucking company in the Midwest United States. Op Deliveries. Uh, originally from California, just like me. <laughs> That's true. Chan, can, they're saying. Okay. Okay. We're going to go over to line four where we have Ryan. Ryan, can you hear me? Hello? Ryan, are you able to hear me? Ryan, I'm able to hear Yes, I am. How are you, Richard? I'm doing very well, Ryan. Now, from what I understand, Ryan, you're having a, um, you're having a brother with, you're having uh, an argument with your, your brother, Brian. Is that true? Ryan and your brother Brian. I am having an argument with my brother Brian. It's, well, it's, it's, you, you, the it's name, been it's, so hard with him. Well, we also have Brian here today. Brian, um, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this, Ryan, but we're gonna we're gonna bring Brian in as well. Where we have Brian, welcome to the program. Brian, can you hear me? Yes, Richard, I can hear you. Okay, Brian, I have your your brother on the line here, uh, Ryan, who. Yeah. Who who <laughs> who said he's having a bit of a, a problem with you lately? Um, do you know what he's talking I had about? A big problem well, with him. Well, Richard, let, let me explain the problem. My brother wants to open a barber shop, and I just can't agree with it. And if my my brother Brian can explain, he'll, he'll tell you all about the barber shop. And I just don't think it's a good idea to open it. Go, why go don't, ahead. Let me think. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Ryan? Why Why do you think that he shouldn't do this? Is it about you money? You gotta or listen to his idea, Richard. It's just not a good idea. It goes against the Bible's teaching, the Neon Bible's teaching. Brian, what do you have to say about that? I don't think it does, Richard. But uh, it's, I'll, I'll tell you my idea. My idea is to open up a barber shop called Socks and Cuts. It's where the barber is interactive with you throughout the whole cut, so it makes it less awkward. And then the bottom half is where you open with the uh, the male. The male gets the cut or the female gets the cut and one person is in a ski mask. A ski mask sucking. If you understand what I'm what do saying. You mean, what do you mean by that? Like he's cleaning the hair that falls? Yeah, he's he's sucking. He's That's why we call it sucks and cuts. Well, Ryan, it sounds to me like it's it, that's fine. Like he's, he's, he's referring to cleaning the hair that falls onto the floor. Like it's like a, think about it like no, a vacuum. No, Richard, you got to listen to him harder, man. He's not talking about kicking up the hair. He's talking about giving the person oral sex, Richard. You don't understand. Whoa, 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 no. whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Richard, that what you're... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that what you're talking about here, Ryan? You're talking about oral no, fornication? Richard, you have to understand. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that while the person gives you a haircut, you, the wife or the male sucks up the person's bottom half. It's, it's the wife. It doesn't go against the neon Bible. So why, so why do they wear a mask then? <laughs> so it covers mask. the identity of the man so they don't get ousted in the church, Richard. You're not understanding the problem. Hold, hold on. Just give him a mo give him a moment to explain his idea here. Sorry, I don't give him a minute. So why call it? Why 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 is he wearing him? Why is the mask required then? If it's nothing, if it's nothing shameful or sinful. 
Richard. I'm talking about the other spouse wearing a mask, so it covers the identity of the other people. There's going to be multiple stations, at least six. There's going to be have six the permits? people at the same time. Do you have what the did you permits? Say, I couldn't hear you. Sorry, do you, do, do you have the... Yeah, uh, I got I got the permit for, the, for, for Montclair. I got it. I got a property. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm hoping to get your blessing for this. And hopefully you could, you could give me a He already got this. the sign, Richard. It already says sex and cuts blessed by Richard Burnish of Montclair. Uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, it, Richard, it has the, you, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold a minute here. You, you have my name on the sign without, without asking me, Brian? I'm, I'm, I'm asking for your blessing, Richard. It, 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 it's, it, it's. Not, I hopefully you could give me your blessing for this. Well, let's let's but, let's talk uh, about. Did, well, did he tell you about the barber yet? I don't. Did he tell you about the bar? The barber is naked while he gives you the cut, Richard. No, 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 no. Misunderstanding. He's half naked. Only his body is showing, not his. He body only has area. a speedo on, Richard. You can see the bulge. Uh, why is but is why is he wearing the okay well why 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 does he need to wear that i do not see how this could be like a because he, uh, he sometimes sometimes when the male male needs the uh the male needs to let it breathe sometimes he needs to be free of clothes well i'm not a barber so i can't i can't say uh what a barber needs but it sounds to me like this is a I little bit honestly, Richard, it, it looks sound, like you got your haircut at sucks and cuts because I'm telling you, the barber's not focused on giving you the haircut, Richard. He's focused on a whole nother problem. Okay. Um. We're going to go to line two, where we have Jerry... Hello, Jerry, and welcome to the show. Jerry, you're on you're on the program. Hello. Yes, Jerry. Welcome to the show. Hi, Richard. How are you today? Fantastic, fantastic. I just want to apologize for some of the language that's made it onto the call, Jerry, onto the show. I apologize for that. And to everybody at home watching on Montclair Public Access for some of that foul language. But Absolutely no problem at all. You you keep doing what you keep doing. What could we help you with today, Jerry? Well, Richard, I came here with a uh, business pitch. But before I get started, I just want to say uh, I uh, I can't wait for the film. You know, like the, the premiere and everything, It's it's going to be great. Thank you. But anyway, um, so you're aware of the, uh, you know, I talked to you about this the other day, uh, the um, the uh, the Christ plug add-on for uh, Mozilla Firefox. Of course, yes. Well, you see, I'm trying to uh, make a, a physical version of that, you know, that would be in the form of like headphones. Okay, go on, caller. Uh, what do you mean by by uh, what are headphones? Like, what is headphones? What is that? Okay, we seem to have lost that call. Um. Okay. Let's grab a. And, and these are still coming in. Messages of, of changing people's lives. Like this one from Caitlin who says, Hi Richard, I'm a devout follower of yours and changed my life for the better thanks to the Neon Bible. I hope this donation helps to support the show. Well, it very much does. Every little bit helps, Caitlin. Um, uh, Caitlin. Every little bit helps. Or this one. Who says, Good evening, Mr. Burnish. I'm here to raise a toast to you. Your vigorous fisting of 
me last night over my upcoming hit game's use of your name and likeness has opened my eyes to, to my greed. Also, I'm boy pregnant and you're the father I'm Um, hello, Richard. All I had to do was deny him as I fisted and ate his seed. Nothing, I'll beat him up in the rain. Just designed to me by the way my penis looks like. Okay. <laughs> um, Okay. Wow. What a... <laughs> wow. The time is moving so fast. The show um, is... We're already... It's already... Going in for... Uh, we're already into our first hour. And I just... I'm so excited that everyone's with me, and I also want to s extend a special thank you um, to my father, uh, Richard Burnish Sr., who has helped with some of the improvements on today's on today's show, on the new show, Into the Light, um, and some of the new um, things that he helped me realize that I needed to do, that I chose to do, and we hope that you enjoy it too on Montclair Public Access. TOS TV3. <laughs> okay. Um, um, our fax lines are, are, are open, taking vows of faith, and our phone lines are open at 1909 345 6434. Now, when I reach over here and I grab one of these pieces of paper, it's not just a piece of paper, okay? This is this is a life that I've changed, okay? This is somebody reaching back and thanking you, thanking me for some of the work that I've done with them. Like this one here. Hi, Richard. I want to thank you for healing my dog, Sparky. You can finally walk again. You're my rock, Pastor Burnish. Well, I'm glad that I'm your rock. And I'm all of your rock and I'll be hard for you. Let's take one more call. Where we have Caden on line six. Hello, Caden, and welcome to the program. Into the light. How are you doing today, sir? I'm I'm doing fantastic. Um I really like the new 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 I switch of the setup and everything. It's looking much better than before, Richard. Well, thank you. I just I would like to add that all of these choices uh, were were my decision. Well, were they your decision? Just completely you, right? Uh, yes. No other influence. No, it was it was time. Abs to, abs yes, it's thank you for your compliments. Amen. Oh yeah, I love I love the new haircut too. It looks very uh, um. How do I put it? Uh, fitting. We'll, we'll say fitting. Yeah. Um, so are, are you and your father like, okay, there was a bit of a falling out last episode and this, you know, it's produced by him. So are you guys like back together? Or oh. What's up, what's up with that? <laughs> oh, uh, we're, we are closer than we've ever been. Um, uh, oh, that's such ever, good news. Blessed be. He, he flew into, to, uh, to express gratitude for, for, um, uh, uh, for everything that I've done, and and now we're collaborating together to create a truly wonderful experience. And I just want to thank the Richard Burnish uh, so, uh, Senior Company for um, all of the, the yeah for all for all the what Richard for for all of the um, support and support. Oh, okay. okay. 
the, all the changes were you, right? Those aren't those aren't anyone else. I yeah, the, it was I. This is all I really have. To, I've, I've been asked to stress that. I mean, it's all my decision. Thank you. Amen. Why why do you why do you keep looking off uh, off screen? You have looked off screen a lot this stream. Are are you okay, Richard? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I sometimes Chad likes to. St- uh, wave and say hi and and share messages like like when you write them on paper and then hold them up he likes to he likes to and i'm it, it's it yeah it's yeah everything's good i'm everything's um, good everything richard good. i'm looking at the chat i'm looking I'm, I'm looking at the chat on the internet right now richard because i'm a, i'm an internet fan internet viewer as you like to put it okay they're saying they're saying you're held at gunpoint there's a sniper aimed on you uh, dual X says blink oh. twice if you're in trouble. Uh, R- Richard, uh, these are uh, okay. I, I think uh, perhaps that last caller, Chad, played too many video games. <laughs> um, with li- line 10, we have David. Hello, David. Uh, welcome Hello? to the show, uh, Into the Light. What, what, I'm going to ask you to turn down your television set, David. The woofers are doing a wo- uh, they're doing the tweets in my ears, so it's 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 into my going into my iPods. If you could just t- tone that down. down. Is that okay? Much better. Thank you, David. It's great to have you here, and everybody in the chat here. And at home, we're all thinking about you. David, what's on your mind? So, uh, namaste, first of all. Um, I called years ago, and uh, I did a little bit of prank. They didn't pick up for me, so I was I was on hold, and I kept saying, I'm on the Internet, I'm on the Internet, and I needed I need Richard's help. And now now I'm living oh, something's wrong with a eyes. life I'm just, of my filth. Eyes are, eyes I'm... Richie. I, I'm I'm just I'm used by mm-hmm. by Chinese businessman and it's just mm-hmm, it's a mm-hmm. life of filth and crime and yeah yeah I, yeah. I just I need so, help yeah well that sounds that sounds really good that sounds like you're um it sounds like you're you've like you've got a good understanding of 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 Christianity and and it sounds like you've you're 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 doing a great job teaching those kids so I got to thank you for that um yeah, okay, okay. and Thank you. And yeah. Okay. Um, we're just gonna. Um, uh, okay. So uh, we're. I'm encouraging you to um, to to, don- to donate today. This is hot soil that that I've got to offer you here. Okay. Now many of you are just you're eating your seed. You know, like when you go to work every day, you know, when you're on the freeway, you're driving to work, I'm talking about your blood, your sweat and your tears. Okay. I'm talking about your seed because that's you. Now you, you gotta, you gotta take your seed and you gotta sow it into hot soil. Okay. You gotta enter into a covenant with the Lord and that's what I'm offering you today. Okay. Cause so many of you are lost unemployed somebody's somebody's watching right now and they've got a they've got a uh, they've got a a, a sick they've got a a sick parent you know their 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 mom is not doing so well right now and they're not sure about the future and what that future looks like and they're worried but they don't need to worry, okay? You don't need to worry, and I'm speaking to you here. You don't need to worry, okay? Because I'm here for you, and we're all here for you. You're not going through this alone. But you're asking maybe yourself, well, how can I, what can I do? Richard, my back is against the wall here. My mom is sick. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what you can do. You can get into a covenant with the Lord okay you can get into faith it's not fake this is faith all of this is faith 
So when you start to donate and enter into that covenant, the Lord's going to do miraculous things for you. Okay, the, this, the money you donate doesn't go to me. I don't receive any of it. It all goes to God's plan. Okay, and God favors those who give most. So if you're a little bit worried, maybe you should make a donation. A donation like this one. Who comes in from Daisy. Hi, Richard. Sending love and prayers and donations from the Montclair Breakery. We absolutely adore your show and we hope you come visit us sometime. See what I mean? This is, this is changing. This is life changing stuff. Or this one. We'll be right back. John Romero, and you're watching The Ark on Montclair Public Access, TOS TV3. Glorious day. I'm Councilwoman Dr. Renee Baskerville, and I'm very excited to share this news with you. Once again, the Township of Montclair will be partnering with City Green Veggie Mobile Truck. We'll be coming into the south end of Montclair to the Community Saving Bank parking lot located at 323 Orange Road to bring fresh fruits and vegetables, flowers, honey, eggs, and other opportunities 
to the township of Montclair. We're so excited to join our partners, Hackensack Meridian Mountainside Healthcare, along with the Partners for Health. Partners for Health do so many things in our township to make sure that we're all Be certain to follow the immunization schedule for your age for specific recommended vaccinations. Who can I talk to for more information? For more information, talk to your doctor about recommended vaccinations for yourself and your family. You can also call the Montclair Department of Health for more information on immunizations or attend one of our immunization clinics on the first and third Monday of every month from 9 a.m. to noon. If traveling, be sure to check with your provider for recommended vaccinations. Thanks, Rob, for the valuable information. Thanks for having me. Good evening and welcome to Greater Montclair. Tonight we're going to be looking at the issue of hunger right here in the Montclair community. Think for a moment if you would about the last time you were really hungry. Maybe you missed breakfast, maybe you even missed breakfast and lunch. Well that gnawing pit in your stomach at about three to four o'clock goes away when you eat your next meal. But what happens for those who don't know where their next meal will be coming from? Believe it or not, in the United States now, estimates are that one in seven Americans goes hungry. We also know that children suffer from hunger in particular, and families that struggle to make ends meet often suffer from what's called end-of-month hunger. start recording Every ready set go and now hello everybody and welcome uh, to the program uh, I am Richard and we're here on into the light on um, uh, Montclair public access TOS TV3 now before we get started I'd love to just start with a 
short prayer that was written by Richard Burnish Sr. <clears throat> Father, praise you for this dream and the purpose for it. We know that when we gather together, you always have a divine agenda. We love you for that, Father. That even when we have done what you have asked, the results are so much greater than we ever could have imagined. Even in failed attempts, you blow us away with your uh, faithfulness to provide what we need. Our prayer today is that your will be done through this stream. Take what we have prepared and multiply our efforts as only you can. Steer our intentions to align your neighbor's righteous will. Remind us your faithful provision when our efforts fail or fall short. May all glory go to you when we reach the finish line and climb over the benchmarks. Blanket us with your peace today, Father. Keep us physically safe and guard our hearts and minds from pride and selfishness. Keep love at the forefront of our minds today and the guiding light for we all set out to accomplish and celebrate into the light by Richard Burnish Sr. Amen. I'd like to take a moment here and remind everybody that the prayer lines are open at one nine zero nine three four five six four three four. And just ahead, we have the children's cabin, or kids' cabin, as I like to call it, featuring a lot of artwork and shout outs for everybody in the Montclair Township. But before we do that, let's take some more phone calls. Thank you, Matthew, for your amen. Thank you, Robert, for your amen. Thank you, Sefi, for your amen. Thank you, Joseph, for your amen. Thank you, uh, uh, Roland, for being here. Okay. And everybody at home on Montclair Public Access watching on C-SPAN, please place your prayer towels on top of your television sets. And if you don't have a prayer towel, go to richardburnish.org and purchase one today. So you receive God's message the way that it's intended. richardburnish.org I see you, Daisy, and Bill, and Daniel. But let's go over here to line one. Curtis, can you hear me? Hey. Hey, how you doing, Richard? Curtis, I'm doing fantastic. Now, I understand that you're having some problems with your landlord, Curtis. Is that true? My landlord? Uh, yes, no, Derek. No, uh, Casey must have... Casey must have got that mixed up. No, I'm 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 Curtis Crouch. I'm CEO of Dad Soda Incorporated. Oh, well, I apologize for that, Curtis. Perhaps the system was inbred with the other lines. How could I help you today? Inbred, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, I'm the CEO of Dad Soda, and we've been seeing you're so loyal to our brand. For over 10 years now, and because of that loyalty, we wanted to reward you with a lifetime supply of Dad's Cream Soda.
Hello. That would be fantastic. Richard, yes, we're going to send you some vouchers in the mail, but that's not it. We have more for you. Not only are you awarded a lifetime, not a year, not five years, not ten years, but a lifetime supply of dad's cream, we also want to fly you out to start a dad's cream commercial alongside Terry Crews. How does that sound? That, that would be f uh, fantastic. Uh, pending uh, some further discussions. That sounds so great. We love your Okay, well, that sounds good. I, I, I'm sorry? We love your product, and um, we've, we, 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 um, Oh, I know it. We, we, we've been drinking we, we've, for, for many years now. We love the work that you do. Yeah. And we did yeah. the fact that like, it's hard finding a Christian soda now that's something that a lot of viewers may not understand, but you know how you can buy yeah. halal chicken, for example, that was praised by the Pope yeah. or whatever. It's hard to find a soda that has been processed in a way that keeps um, all of the, uh, you know, uh, all, all of the commandments in mind and all of the, the seven deadly sins of and some of the teachings. Um, so I appreciate that work that you do with your stuff because it's quite it's quite it's quite good yeah of course of course and to all the viewers that are listening uh, on on tv and then on the interwebs uh like richard said yeah all of our ingredients i mean they're just like it's like every other cream soda it's that, like that it's like that pope chicken special yes but it's a little bit of the secret creamy dad's goodiness we got in there for you that's what oh, sets us apart oh my god well thank but i'm not going to keep you on too too long of course, uh, just just to let you know, for that commercial, you will be pouring Dad's cream all over, uh, you know, Terry Crews' body. And you're going to be rubbing it on him. <sighs> Disgusting. You know, I. Okay, we're going to go over here to line five. Here, where we have uh, Kenny. Kenny, can you hear me, Kenny? Hello? Hello? Kenny, can you hear me? Yes, Kenny, I can hear you. Kenny, now listen. Uh, Richard, my name isn't my, my name isn't Kenny Richard. Kenny, you need it's, to listen. It's, here, okay. it's Bryce. Oh, okay, Rice. I'm sorry, Rice. We're having problems with the phone system. No, it's not so Rice, Rice, Richard. Richard, Rice. Richard, it's Bryce with a B. Okay, Bryce. I work in the kitchen. I'm sorry, Bryce. Okay, so I'm seeing some notes here that you have some issues with your boss, Jim. That he's, he's working you a no, little bit too I. hard? Is that true? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of I live in the basement here, here at Hurricane Mose. I, I work, you know, you know, you know, 80 hour weeks. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to, to, you know, live. But I get through it. I get paid 25 cents on the hour. So it's all right. Well. Are you there? Yeah, I'm. I'm here, but it, you you mentioned to our, our our call screener Casey that your boss Jim, is 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 being abusive to you. Is that true? Uh, honestly, yeah, Jim. Jim Jim comes back here and he throws plates at me and he says, "Get him done, dish boy." And then he does like this weird dance. Hey, fuck back to mom, please, please no, oh, oh. That was my that was my boss Jim. Oh no, man. Uh, hold, hold. I'm sorry about that F sharp. Hold on, Richard. can we get can we can we get Jim? Well, we actually have Jim on the line. Jim, hold up, hold oh, the minute, hold the minute, Bryce. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Yeah, Jim. Richard, I can. Jim, listen. Okay, yeah. I have I have your employee Bryce on the line. Okay, and I heard some of the language that 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 you just demonstrated yelling at him like that. What do you have to say for yourself? You think that it's oh. do you think that it's okay to just treat somebody how you want to treat them like that? Come on, Jim. Well, Richard, I hate to use harsh language. He just doesn't listen if I don't. I don't know what to do. Bryce, 
What do you hey, have to listen say? here. I worked my ass off here in hurricane mode. Bro, you, bro, don't, you don't have Bryce. to do that to me, bro. Bro, Bryce, this is a family program. I'm going to ask you to watch the language or we're going to have to let I'm, you go. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. We'll watch so the sorry about that. So listen, Jim is Jim is saying to you that you're not you're not listening, Bryce. What's what's up with that? Well, it's not even that, Richard. It's not even that. There's I caught him doing worse stuff than just disrespecting me and disobeying. Me. Worse well, stuff. Trust. Well, like well, like what, for example? Well, the company what? Durable recently died. Yeah, surveillance. Hold Poisoning. on, hold on, hold on a minute here. Hold on, hold on a minute, Jim. Bryce. What what do you have to say about that? Yes. The company the company hamster has died. What like is this something that you've gerbil, done? Gerbil, yeah, the company gerbil. Company well, gerbil, well, gerbil. Well, we're, we're, well uh, he only the gerbil only died because Jim put him in the deep fryer. That's no, the no, only no, reason no. the gerbil died. That's the only reason. We okay, I saw you no, do no, it, Jim. I saw it happen with my own eyes. We have the footage. We have the footage. Okay, you can't deny. Okay, hold on, oh, hold on, Bryce, water. Bryce, Bryce. Hold on a minute here. Stop for a moment. Jim, what's going on here? It's hard to talk about Richard because I love that damn gerbil. But we have him on camera. We think the gerbil's food. Of that gerbil. What's what's this talk about this deep fry? Hold on a minute, Bryce. That's, the man is crying. Lie. Jim is that's crying. Lie, the man is crying. The man is crying. Give him a moment. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. But. Honestly, even the worst thing he's done, even though he killed my gerbil. That's a bunch of baloney. Worst. No, no, it's not. You know it's not. You know you killed my damn gerbil. Okay, no. listen here. Listen here. We both know you tampered with the files, and we both know that you no, sat on no. him, and you didn't want anyone no. to find out, so you put him in the deep fryer, and you sold him. That's what I would did. never do that. I love did, did you did you put no, you like that. Jim Jim hold on a minute hold the, hold a minute here did you, you Bryce are you saying that he, he he put him in the deep fryer Yes yes sir why would I, he put why would that, I do that poor why? little gerbil down in the deep fryer for at least forty five seconds and when I'm telling you when he came up he looked like a chicken sandwich I would never do that I love that damn gerbil don't, don't you disrespect me like that. Okay, listen. No, that was my turn. Well, hold a minute. That hold on a minute mine. here. He wasn't yours. Everybody, please. Now, I, I, I'm not one. I, I don't know the full story. Okay. Now, everybody at home, I want to make it clear. I don't know the full story there. But I, I do know this. that on the street gerbil is code that's street language now in these urban areas they they ask go around and they buy and sell gerbil and like for us people that have you know regular lives we think that a gerbil is a little animal but I'm smarter than these guys and I know what they're really talking about. Okay. They're putting things up their butts. On a Christian program. That's what that is. And I'm sorry to say that to everybody at home and everybody in the, in the chat. But you need to know. You need to educate yourself about these types of things. Can I please get a sad in chat? Truly sad. My white brother is here and he's receiving data. Data like this. Pastor Burnish, thank you for getting my children to put down the video games and pick up a Bible. Please accept this donation in return for your help. Well, Jim, why are they playing video games in the picture? I don't understand why you'd send a picture of them playing video games. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Or this. 
coming in from Richard let me out of the closet and get <laughs> okay uh, or for this one from clay uh, I can tell your dad if he wants a son that kicks ass instead of licking I mean, I, I meant to read this one here from Kelly, who says, Richard, thank you so much for all that you do. You have given me wonderful ideas to help spread the word of God. You are such a positive force in the community. Keep going. Uh, what you're doing, God bless. Enjoy the $20. It's a little low, Kelly. It's a little low that I'm used to, but I appreciate that you're trying. I appreciate that you're trying. Let's go over to Jackson on line seven. Hello, Jackson. You're live on the program. Hey, Richard. Uh, I don't know if you remembered, but I called last week. I was all disheveled. I had my Jimmy's rustled, and I just wanted to give you an update about what happened with me and the encounter I had with that animal. Is this some sort of a joke? Hello. No, no. Listen, you told me to eat brisket. And cold cut like bologna. Oh yes, okay, I remember. I to 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 eat a lot of meat. Yeah, you told me to eat a lot of meat. Okay, well, thank you for 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 bringing us back for 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 calling back and telling us about your progress. Let's hear it. Well, I just wanted to say, uh, I've I've spent over eight hundred dollars on bologna, cold cuts, and brisket, and I have to tell you, it worked. But, but I. I think it's working too well. I mean, went out yesterday. And what do you mean by by too uh, too well? I went outside, and it seems that in in the woods where I went, where I last previous had the encounter with what what I seem to be is a Sasquatch, from what I've read on the internet. I went and left hand on the neon Bible, and right hand to God. I saw. A male Sasquatch with jean cutoffs giving another male Sasquatch oral fornication. And I'm not trying to make sex on the phone. I'm sorry for some of the language of that call. Except my apology. You know, I try and offer straight advice to some of these people. I try. And we're trying harder provide a level of Christian worship that is even higher than the ark and it's doing even um, a better job with the suggestion all this all the things that I chose to do to the show to improve it on my own but we also would like to recognize Richard Burnish senior for um, coming to support the pro program beef squanch Okay. Um, our prayer lines are open at one nine zero nine three four five six four three four, and uh, the uh, my white brother is also receiving vows of faith. Vows of faith like this. Hello, Richard. I'm Ben Wright. I'm the senior editor at Montclair Times newspaper. We love the program. Well, thank you, Ben. Um, we want to bring you in for an interview. Please contact us if you're interested. Accept this donation as a sign of my good intentions. Uh, Bog bless. I think he meant to say uh, God bless. Or this one. Coming in. Coming in. Um, um, Chad, can you... Okay, uh, this one here from CMMA Press Office who says, Breaking announcement. Date set for Sinclair versus Burnish. This event will take place on August 22nd, 2020. Tickets 155 tax-free. Additional tax-free donations. Appreciate it. Don't forget funds. 
Well, this is just a mock-up. We're still kind of finalizing. Um, some of the, the, the no, um, Chad, can you delete the ones that say bog bless? Can you, it's God bless, not bog bless. That was, the man made a mistake when he was typing. This one here comes in from Andrew uh, Kleinman, who says, Our oldest daughter, Michaela, was missing for two weeks. I'm so sorry to hear that, Andrew. Search efforts were futile. We prayed and prayed. We never gave up, and we bought Richard's package. The day it arrived, Michaela was found unharmed. Thank you, Richard. Um, you gave us our life back. This money is the least we can do. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Andrew, and we'll put that money to good, to good, to good use. Can you can you please no one in the ch no one say bog bless. Hold on, let's stop the minute. Stop stop it for a second here. No one say bog bless in the in the chat. If anybody says bog bless, they're gonna get deleted. Okay, and then if you get deleted, then you're not gonna be allowed to be in program. On program on in pro. So don't. And Chad, feel f to delete anyone who says bog bless. Hi, Richard. Um, see you being treated at the homo. That's a, that's a, j a joke. Chad, Chad, can we have our next call, please? Okay. Over here uh, on line at 20, we have um, Seb. Seb, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Richard. Seb, now, from what I'm reading here, you're you're having issues with your uh, your friend Don, who's been drinking too much? No, Mitch. Mitch. My friend uh, Mitch. Okay, Mitch. Yeah, he is... goes by the big M. Okay, well, what's going on? Let's hear, let's hear about it. Well, about a year ago... Don't stop saying um, Bog Bless. If anybody says Bog... <laughs> if, if anyone... Um, it, it was a, the man sorry, with a Richard? typo. He was admitting it, making a typo, so please do not type Bog Bless. Thank you. Sorry, go, go ahead. Uh, uh, so let's talk um, about so Mitch. About You're talking about ago, your, your, Mitch is drinking oh. too much. Yes, yes, he is. He's been drinking like a racehorse. And... Uh, well, Mitch, he, about a year ago, um, I walked in and I noticed I seen a 30 rack of white claw, like what, 30 white claws. And I was like, oh no, you know, it's over for him. And me and my friends, uh, Ezra and Jim Gregg, we always try to get Mitch to stop delete drinking delete and we try and try. And cause mm -hmm. you know, that's only the right thing to do is try to get him to stop drinking. And he recently, um, I walked in on him with the dog, uh, Richard. He was petting his dog, like, and I was like, man, Mitch, you got to stop. Like, it's not even something that, you know, you can be doing because he kind of hits his dog too, bog Richard. Bless. Can you actually, and can it, you delete, Chad, can you remove all the ones that say bog bless? Sorry, sorry, caller, go ahead. Delete all the ones. Well, he kind of. I don't want to say he abuses his dog, but he has a purebred pit, Richard. And but with the with the with the purebred pit pit, you have to you know kind of whip him into shape a little bit, you know. And I just don't want him to. Well, hold, hold I on. Just don't want him to hold on, Seb. We because we actually have we actually have Mitch on the line here. Okay. Now, M Mitch, you know, Mitch, can Mitch, can you hear me? Yourself, Mitch, Richard. Mitch, can you please turn down your sure. your, your TV set? Mitch. Yeah, this is Mitch. Okay, Mitch. No, I have yeah. your roommate. No, I, I, no, 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 Mitch, no. Mitch, I have Seb on the line here. I'm, and he's, not, I'm not gonna fix everybody's problem. I have on well, the line is, here, and he's saying that. This is the real Mitch right here. Okay, hold on, hold on, everybody, please keep quiet. Okay. Now he's saying that you're abusing. He's you're abusing dogs. Okay, and you're drinking too much. 
Well, what do you what do you have to say about that? My fucking face and start biting it. He's gonna get his ass beat. That's how it goes, man. Well, you're gonna have to watch your language, Mitch. Okay, this you, is a family program. Okay. Uh, now, I, I apologize, but when your dog's trying to top you off and all you have is mayonnaise and not peanut butter, dude, that's a huge problem. Like, what do you mean? I'm sorry, Seth can say what he wants to say, but he's just a fat shit, and I'm tired of my dog <laughs> topping me off and hitting it from the back and not even giving me cash. Like, dude, it just gets old. Sorry, I'm, I accidentally crossed. I crossed my legs and I accidentally. Is there a well, no. for my language, but okay, dude, hold, on. I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, Mitch. Ass. Mitch, let's. Sorry. Okay, well, I'm hearing a lot of language that I don't understand. Okay, like I don't fully understand. I apologize, man. I'm what do you mean by it. topping really off? What is day, what is topping off? So, like whipped cream and cherries and stuff. A lot of tongue. Um. Sometimes there's brown eye play, things of that nature. Seb, I'm, I'm, Seb hold on a minute. Mitchell, play? please hold on a minute here. Mitchell, hold one minute. Seb, I'm having a hard time understanding what he's talking about. W what's going on here, really? So basically, basically what's happening is the dog's getting involved. Like, he'll have, like, Mitch is an alcoholic, and he has, like, a girl problem. He's a, he's a sex addict. And, uh... His dog will like try to get in, like when he like, intercourse with him, it just beats his dog. A lot of tongue. Um, sometimes there's brown eye play, things of uh, that uh, nature. I'm hearing a lot of. Yeah, I'm like, hearing I'm some feedback in there. It's all. It's all. It's all feeding. Feeding back here. Well. Yeah, I'm outside talking now. Okay. Well, listen. Okay, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it crystal clear. Okay. No, I don't know anything about now i don't know anything about topping off um lick licking play and all of that things with animals but it doesn't matter that i don't understand exactly what you're saying it doesn't matter that i don't understand exactly what you're saying because i i think i understand what it is that you're getting at and if you're doing fornicate with animals and your dogs and you're abusing your dogs I can't believe I even need to I can't believe I even need to say this out loud. Okay. That is so wrong. And that is so far from the path that God has laid before you. Now you've got you've got two choices, Mitchell. Okay. Walk the path that you're walking on now and and go first class to H E L L. You turn around. And you take that other path and you get into Christ. For real. Seriously, think about that. Let's go to line nine where we have Derek. Hello, Derek. Welcome to the program. Hey Richard, how you doing? I'm a first time caller. Uh, I was asking to see like what what's with the new look? Like why do you look like Toby Maguire from Spider Man Three? <laughs> oh well I good I appreciate a good sense of humor. <laughs> well these were all this is this is a new program and it's called uh, Into the Light, um, produced by Richard Burnish Senior, my father, who is uh, decided to help um uh, um, contribute to the show and and these are some of the suggestions that we came up with together that we both agree make everything better uh, mutually we both mutually decided that these were all de decisions that uh, um, that would be better for the program we both decided them together no, no. I decided them also because I'm, I'm in charge no. of, I'm in charge of a lot of things of the of this show too I, I, I choose certain things so it's no longer called the Arc anymore. It's a new, like a totally different show now. Uh, this, yes, that's correct. It's the uh, Into the Light, uh, produced by Richard Burnish Sr. Um, extra credit to the Richard Burnish Sr. Film Production Crew team organization. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you answering my call and answering my question. 
I, I love you, Richard, but I just want to say you just look like you got done filming a gay porno. I swear to God. We'll, we'll be right back with children's chat line. Chad, can you make sure they're not saying bog bless? I'm still reading jo bog bless in there. Well, del do the delete. Press delete on it. My father sees that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna freak out. Well, I'm gonna tell him that it's you who's doing it, okay? I'm gonna get it.
John Romero, and you're watching The Ark on Montclair Public Access, TOS TV3. Glorious day. I'm Councilwoman Dr. Renee Baskerville, and I'm very excited to share this news with you. Once again, the Township of Montclair will be partnering with City Green Veggie Mobile Truck. We'll be coming into the south end of Montclair to the Community Saving Bank parking lot located at 323 Orange Road to bring fresh fruits and vegetables, flowers, honey, eggs, and other opportunities to the Township of Montclair. We're so excited to join wow. our partners. The Bible, I mean, what a magnificent thing. Um, the Bible has many, uh, like, like a book, it's a book. It's, it's kind of like a book. The Bible's kind of like a book. I literally go to the Bible for answers to everything. Just this morning, I woke up and I was wondering, what should I, what should I eat? Should I um, have for food? And then when I, I opened it to just, I just cracked it like that, just like, like this. And right there on page 74, it said eggs. I had eggs. Now some, sometimes people say to me, you know, Richard, uh, you spend a lot of time working. Do you ever have any fun? And yeah, like there's times where um, me and Chad will just sit in the chair and we'll just we'll just quickly just say our our top favorite people in the Bible. You know, just it'll just be like Peter, John, Jake, Joseph, Mary, and it's kind of a fun game that we like to play. Hey everybody, hello, welcome back to the program. I'm your host, Richard Burnish Jr. and this is Into the Light. Now prayer lines are open at the number you see uh, on screen, 909-345-6434. And we're taking your calls. Our, uh, our brother, my white brother is, is, is also accepting vows of faith um, and our phone lines are also lighting up. So when you ask yourself, vow of faith, what is a vow of faith? Well, a vow of faith is a, don a donation that has been sent in uh, from our congregation or by, by you, by anyone. It could be you. And, and how much can you give? I know you're, you may be wondering what's enough. Can I give $5, maybe $10? I mean, listen, if that's all you have to give, then fine. I guess that's enough, but let me tell you something. Okay, there's teenagers. There's teenagers out there that have hardly anything going on for them that have enough faith to make a $1,000 donation, a vow in faith. I'm saying in faith. Okay. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Richard, that's not how we, how we do things in my church. Well, forget about your church. Forget about your church. I'm talking, to, I'm talking about doing what God said to do in the Neon Bible. Okay? You make that donation today. $5, $10. No, fine. Okay. $200. If that's what it takes to get you into faith, then $200. If that's, the, if that's 
all that you all you care about your your soul then two hundred dollars is whatever you see i like a thousand dollars because when you donate one thousand dollars that's how i know that i've got you into faith i've got you into faith and that's when miracles start to happen Miracles like this. Abby Smith says, Hi Richard, it's Abby from Montclair Community Nursery. Thank you for the volunteer work your church did last week. Well, you're very welcome, Abby. The children enjoyed learning about God and how we created the universe. Come around again sometime. The kids would love to learn more. Give this to God. Well, Every donation that we receive goes to God. Or this one. Who says trans men aren't women and trans women aren't men? This okay. Not that. That's not. One. Okay. Can you please delete the message about the scrunchie? We don't wear that. We don't wear those anymore. Thank you, Chad. This one here from <laughs> I meant to grab this one here who says uh it says Hurricane Moe says, Glorious day, Richard. We love your show here at Hurricane Moe's and we know you need this money more than we do. And uh, keep working with children. Bless you so much, you holy man. Well, we do We do need the money. We do very much need, need the money. This one comes in from Big E who says, Richard, please help. All I want is Dolph's doggy ding. It's all started when eyes is as with what it all started when i is as playing with my dog and okay it's unacceptable let's go over to the phone lines here where we have robert on line 27 robert can you hear me I can hear you, yes. Robert, I see here that you and um, your uncle are, are, are having a, a problem. We are, yes. Uh, my well, uncle, uh, let's Bobby, tell and I... Let's tell everybody at home here, Robert, what's, what seems to be the problem with uh, you and your uncle. Well... Can you yeah, not say bog bless? They're writing bog involved. bless in their chat. If they, if I see one more bog bless on the stream. What? Oh. Um, sorry, uh, Robert, I'm sorry. Hello, Robert. Welcome to the show. There's a pro um, I understand you're having a problem with uh, your uncle. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, my uh, my uncle, we were both heavily involved with our, uh, you know, intermittent fisting. You know, uh, this this was something that we bonded as a family. And uh, uh, my uncle, uh, my uncle Bobby, he he definitely took it very very far. And uh, you know, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know if I can actually. Uh, I call him my uncle anymore, you know, because he, uh, you know, I, my, my, me, myself, I am, uh, I'm 19 years old mm -hmm. and my uncle, Robert, yes, my uncle, Robert, or Bobby, he is, uh, let me understand. So you're both, you're both named, uh, Robert. Is that right? You're, 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 you're Robert and he's Bobby. Is that, 
That that is correct. Yes, okay. he does come from okay. the same family line. Right. But uh, but but yeah, I I go I personally go by Robert, and my uncle, Bobby, personally goes by Bobby, and uh, I just don't know if uh, I don't know if he uh, is able to. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to call my uncle anymore, Richard, because. Uh, well, hold, it's just, one one minute, Bobby, because we we actually we actually have him on the line. Okay, so hold on one minute while we welcome your uncle uh, Bobby to the program. B- Bobby, can you hear me? Bobby. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah, uh, welcome. You? Welcome to the program, Bobby. I have your nephew Robert on the line. Uh, I don't know if you can hear him. Uh, can you Can you say hello? Hello. 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 Can, Rob. can you guys hear each other? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, listen. I can hear him. Listen, your your nephew, yeah, your, a... your nephew is saying that he can no longer call you uh, his uncle anymore. What, what, what's that about? Uh, I don't know, Richard. I, I honestly do not know. Is he I just don't act, know is he anymore. acting out is he acting out for attention or what seems to be the Rob what what, what okay Bobby I'm oh, sorry Robert what I I'm having a hard time remembering your names here but I'm going to say nephew nephew what what's going on here why can't you why do you have a hard time considering him your uncle anymore Well <clears throat> it goes back to when goes back to when Bobby had, uh, or I should say Uncle Bobby had his uh, problems with Dad's cream. You know, he, don't you dare. He most certainly. Don't you dare. Most, don't you dare talk about that. Okay, give him some room. Give him some I room. I put What's all good? those days G- behind me. Give him some room. What, what, what about the Dad's cream? Well, you know, he, after he finished the Dad's cream ale, or soda he would uh take the bottle and stick it up old bobby's or roberts he, he, he'd used his intermittent fisting technique with, with hold on hold on this is a family program yeah. okay let's just say this did he did he trespass your body into your body yes uh bobby I uncle, my body. uncle, okay, hold on, Un- uncle. What do you got to say body. about how do you? Res- what do you? He's listen. You have your nephew on the line here, and he's saying that you trespassed into his body with a with a bottle. I did not. I did not do. I did not do that. I am a Christian man, and yeah. you will treat me as such. Okay, hold on. One I'm honestly, I'm honestly offended by these these. Well, you know, uncle Bobby, I thought you were a Christian man as well. But you know, well, we hold after, on, hold on. You're, you're the we, one who drove me. It, it, it's a circular. It's it, it it is a it is a circular uh, path, I guess you'd call it. You know, you know, you got on dad's cream, and I'm on the dad's cream now. You know, I I can't get off it because of you. Everything on, you did with on. those bottles. Hold on, everybody. Hold on one moment I, here. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. We have. A, 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 a uncle relationship expert on the line. Um, uh, can you hear me, uh, doctor? Doctor, can 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 you hear me? Doctor, can uh, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, Richard, I can hear you. Hi, okay. Hey. All right. Listen, we have we have a situation here, and I know that you're an expert uh, when it comes to uncle nephew relation relations now absolutely what we have here is we have we have we have two people here um it it sounds it sounds like maybe there was some rape involved involving objects and stuff (laughs) i don't know how to get to the bottom (sighs) of this this is really your area of specialization what do do you make of all this it's uh it's appalling. This uh, this man's situation is is terrible. I uh, never thought I'd hear such a thing. Well, but, in um, your in your background, like, <laughs> let's, let's talk a little bit more about your background, okay? What what? Like, and, and I don't know entirely what. There's a 
so it's very loud i don't know entirely what what, what goes on to be an expert in uncle relationships uh what that's for everybody watching at home how do you become an expert at uncle nephew interact um, interactions well you see there there are multiple ways personally i i became an expert by infiltrating the mormon church and i observed the these uh these these families and uh their relationships and through that I was able to analyze the dynamics of uncle nephew relationships. Well, it sounds to me like these men are not Christians if they're putting things into each other's bodies into their anuses. Absolutely that does not, not. Well, well, how do you respond to that, Robert? Yeah, you know, I'll just say Bobby's not my dad. He is not. He's my uncle. And no uncle would ever do that to their nephew. And no nephew. Rob, Robert, Robert, how do you how do you feel about your uncle? Like, what are your feelings toward him? He's an uncle. I mean, I I just haven't been able to take uh, the Lord. I haven't been able to take. Uh, the message well it sounds like it's you know? it sounds like you're taking it robert it sounds like you're taking it in your anus is what it sounds to me because you're you're saying that he's that, you know that like is a very he, astute observation pastor burnish well let me ask you this like have, have you told your uncle to just simply to stop have you ever asked him to like <laughs> stop doing to stop to stop it we recommend we recommend saying stop it repeatedly like stop it stop it stop it Okay, what about the uncle here? Let's let's hear about the, hear from the uncle. Uncle Robert, can you, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Richard. Okay, doctor. Doctor, what do you have to say here? Well, he's sticking a bottle in uh, his in his nephew's anus. You sick bastard! <laughs> I did no such thing. I did no okay. such thing. Okay. Um, um, just want to apologize for that language. If anyone is at home and you're experiencing situations where your uncle is entering into your inside of your body without permission, if he's getting into your body without permission, you need to come forward. Okay, that's not okay. Okay, you're not alone. There's 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 a whole world of people that have experienced this thing and there are, we have experts in this area that do uh, that, that specialize in these types of things so uh, um you're not alone in this okay but i just want to make it very clear if your uncle is inside of your body with his with his fingers or his his pet his penis or things like that um that is not acceptable behavior and you you need to, you need to get help Okay. Got a, another um, don a donation here coming in from Damien who says, just want to thank you, Richard, when I need a prayer in hopes to move on for my aunt's unexpected passing. You were there for me all the way. I look up to you uh, and it meant a lot to me. I'm proud to present you with this donation of $340. Thank you. Well, thank you, Damien. That 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 money will be put to good use. Or this one here from Edward, who says, "Hi, Richard. My wife stopped using goya beans in our food, but those made my poop taste." Um, this one comes in and says, Hi Richard, I recently ordered a swimsuit um, off okay, uh, with and it seems to have shopped, uh, shipped in a much larger size. Do I look like a homo sapien? That's disgusting.
This one comes in from Jamal uh, Grungman, Grungman, who says, Your show has brought me from the brink of financial ruin. I prayed, prayed, and prayed until I couldn't think of any more prayers. Now there's food upon my table. Thank you. I know that this donation is small, but I'm giving what I can. Thank you, Jamal. It will be put to it will be put to great use. That money doesn't come to me. I mean, it comes to me, but it doesn't stop with me. Okay. It's going to go on and it's going to help. It's going to change the lives of so many people. I see people in the chat here saying, Bog bless. Can you please delete that? I don't want to see anything typing Bog bless in there. This one comes in here from Alex. He says, Hi, Richard. This is my dad. He has been exposed to certain gateway activities and, and has gone full blown homo sapien. Can you please pray for him to come back to the light? I will pray for him. If you type Bog Bless one more time. Roland says, This is boring. Can every can everybody please tell Roland to GTO? No, Roland can GTO. And I hope that he takes that message seriously. We're going to do a short prayer for the man. And then we're going to do the the kids cabin. Father, thank you for every seat that has been filled here on this stream today. With each mind and heart that fills the presence of this room, we thank you. Only you truly know what we are setting to accomplish today. We have an idea, a vision, hints and daily instructions. We have talents, abilities, and time to work. However, only you can see in perfect detail the end of every beginning every project, every season, every life. Nothing is ever in vain, for even mistakes and missteps are used for good. Your righteousness transcends all efforts and understanding. Forgive us for our pride, the pride that puffs us up and the pride that threatens to unqualify us. Strengthen our confidence in who you have made us to be. Set us free from comparison in order to work together efficiently. Bless this online meeting today, this broadcast, and all of those present as well as the lives of those we will encounter afterward. Ready us to make every single moment count. Amen. If everyone can please bow your head for an amen for the man. Roland, I invite you to leave. Thank you. This next section of the show is titled Kids Cabin where we highlight some of the amazing artwork and accomplishments of the youth in our township of Montclair. So join me in celebrating these fine individuals on the kids' cabin. Kids Cabin. Wow. I love this part of the show. Now for everybody watching at home and you want to get featured on the Kids Cabin, go to richardburnish.org and send in your photographs and your artwork and your accomplishments, whatever that you would like me to show. 
but remember to make backups because I will be keeping all of the pictures of the children. I have to, I'll keep them and I, I won't be sending them back. So make sure to make copies. Okay. So that being said, I present to you the kids. Um, uh, kids, uh, kids cabin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, first up here, we have Chucky, uh, who's wearing his Beatles shirt, and it's, a, it's it's for the Yellow Submarine. Well, happy birthday, uh, Charles! We wish you all the best from the the the, the um from our studio. Oh, and here we have Michelle and Patches. Who just uh, he says uh, Patches just uh, was freshly adopted. We just adopted uh, uh, Patches today, and she's going to new home. All that's very we're very excited uh, for you, Michelle, and the new addition to your f family. We hope that um, Patches has a, a good th uh, thing. And we have Kendra here celebrating her. Uh, 12th birthday happy birthday Kendra uh, you're looking extra ju juice beautiful tonight this one comes in from the Vega family who are enjoying Costa Rica uh, looks like a <laughs> looks like you're having a you got, they have the selfie stick and everything it looks like a fantastic time here this is another family vacation shot. Looks like a lot of people are uh, doing family uh, vacation here. And um, this one comes in from the Roland family. Roland family. Roland family. Um, it's a... Ex ex yeah. Oh! <laughs> look, look at this young knight. <laughs> Doesn't he look absolutely ravishing? Uh, in his armor as a knight <laughs> just kidding but but seriously though um, this is uh, we give a very happy birthday out um, to Greg who's turning at, uh, 11 years old and he he's, he's celebrating here with his uh, bow staff looking I like that spiky hair you looking you looking cool dude <laughs> uh, looking cool okay and this one, is that his name? His name's true. Okay. okay, and this one is from, it just says Shredder, from Shredder. Shredder. Okay, so this one's from Shredder. Oh, uh, this is a happy birthday going out to Douglas. Uh, who had a great time at um, the the um, the, uh, the the barbecue the, the barbecue cookoff? It looks like you're um, enjoying those uh, buns, hot dogs. Yeah. Happy birthday to Miles, who's uh, celebrating his birthday. Um. Okay. Okay, this one is titled "Having Fun uh, with Dad," <laughs> and uh, it's coming from Kelsey and her father John. Um, looks like you're having some uh, this some uh, horseplay <laughs> with your dad, having a, a great time. Um, and looks like you're having a lot of fun. Okay. Um, hap happy birthday. It's Kevin. Uh, wow. What a exciting uh, uh, what of uh, thank you to everybody for for sharing those 
um, family vacation photos and uh, birthdays and some of these uh, some of, of shout outs um, uh, we, we're all thinking about you and we're putting you in our prayers tonight um, next up we um, have the uh, the artwork the drawings section of kids cabin Okay, um, here we, we have a uh, drawing from Timmy and Montclair Primary who says, uh, we love Richard. <laughs> well, we love you too. Uh, we love you too, Timmy. Really. Um, thank you for this. It's, I like the way that you made it look like I am, uh, like I am the son. Because in some ways, I really am the son. Of, um, of, of, of God. Oh, and this is a picture of Jesus and a yellow man who's, um, yeah. And next up, we have this one from Daryl who drew uh, Moses and the burning bush from the Bible, of course. <laughs> Uh, thank you for this one. Oh, look at this! This we have a, a drawing of, of of me with my old hair. Um, it says Richard Burnish, and that's that's so great. That's that's so fantastic. And this one comes in from Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you so much. That's so cute. You did a fantastic job with that one. Um, this one here is Richard hugs mom, me, mommy. And he's oh, okay. It's a pitch. It's um, he's consoling um, the the woman, the sad woman. Uh, it's a it's it's me. Um, it's it's uh, grief. It's for grief. That's for grief. The woman, she's sad. And I making um yeah. Okay. Um, this is an uh, looks like one on a computer drawing. Um, it's, it's very good, uh, considering it's, um, done, uh, done on the mouse. So, wow, that's really great. That's really great. Um, this is, uh, Richard, uh, oh, this is Richard Burnish brand eggs. Oh, f the, there's the creativity here. That's so, cause it's, 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 um, it's 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 what it it's 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 uh it's 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 my head it's my it, it's it's my head on on a chicken because we we were selling burnished uh, uh burnished brand eggs <laughs> that's and it has the look it even has the cross on that wow and this one here comes in uh, from a, a gym and it's a jesus uh, a tea, tea bag a uh, Jesus tea bag. Wow. <laughs> wow, and 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 that um is the uh the kids um and that is the kids um cabin. Thank you to all of the, the, for all of the photographs and for all of the drawings that were sent in to the program. Um, there's so much creativity and positivity in this town. And this is why Montclair is my home and I choose to stay here. <laughs> okay. Um, um, our phone lines are open, uh, and are accepting donations like this. Hubert H says, thank you for the prayer for our family, Richard, because of you, I was able to mend my strained relationship with my stepdaughter and now we are closer than we have ever been. 
Well, I'm glad that I was able to help bring your family together. It's a picture of fucking... This one here uh, from the Dennis family, <laughs> Davis family, who says, Greetings, Richard, from the Davis family. Before the show starts, the entire family drives over to our house to watch the ark together. Enjoy this donation. I know it is uh, going to go to a good place, and thank you for making this show. You're very welcome, Davis family. And this one comes in from Mike Hawk, who says, Hi, Richard. I just wanted to thank you for helping me get through the tough times. Well, you're very welcome, Mike. You're so welcome. You have no idea how welcome you are. Um, I just got out of jail. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I read your Bible every night before the horrifying shower, shower sessions I had to go through. My... Go over to line 16 where we. <clears throat> Hello, you're you're live, you're live on the program. Oh. Welcome to the show. You don't recognize his voice, Richard. Um, welcome. Now to that the... I'm finally out of prison, because of you. Remember? You turned me into a dog molester, Richard. Hello? Hello, hello. Um, welcome to the show. You turned me into a dog molester, Richard. Well. I just got out of prison. It's been 10 years and now you look like a fucking transgender Rosie O'Donnell. What the hell is that noise? Hello, we have Taylor on line 19. Welcome to Glory's the program, day, Richard. Glory's Taylor. Glorious day. Glorious day. Can you hear me, Richard? And, and welcome to Into the Light on Montclair Public Access TOS TV3. What can I help you with today, um, Taylor? Well, first off, I just need to say I'm loving your haircut. And your show has really <laughs> helped me. <laughs> well, I'm glad to you hear got, that. I just want to. You got just... all my buddies into CMMA and 
kind of sipping dad's cream and fisting each other while getting hard in the process. So thank you so much. You're really saving lives. Well, th- <laughs> thank you. Um, it's all part of God's plan. I was just going to ask if I could read a passage out of the Neon Bible, one of my favorites. By all means, call our co-head. I'd love to hear that, Taylor. Okay. Everyone at home, follow along in your own. Um, this is from hold the on, book hold of Chad. On. One minute here. One minute here. Stop. Um, for everybody typing in the chat, a bog bless. I'm going to ask that you stop that, okay? I'm going to ask that you stop that stop right that. now. Stop that. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. The man is going to read from the Bible, okay? And I don't want anyone typing that type of language in, in here because if, fi- if my father finds out... Thank you. Let me know when I can read. Go ahead, Taylor. Thank you. This is from the book of Chad, chapter 3, verse 16. It says... For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, Richard, so that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. I love that. Thank you. Calls like that make me glad that I am who I am. Tell me my dog isn't gorgeous. She needs bent so bad. God, every time I see her, I want to bend her. I think um, what some practical joker has done is they. there's been a lot of, of, of jokes coming through the, um, through my brother today. And I think there's a lot of there's a joker that's uh, having fun with it and he's sending a lot of disgusting things through there and i apologize for for, we're going to work to solve solve that this one comes in from gerald who says hello richard thank you for saving my life ever since COVID hit i went to a dark place and felt i couldn't get out uh but that's when you came back you show me the light, and reading your literature has inspired me to be closer to God. God bless. Well, thank you, Gerald, and thank you for your donation. John Vault says, Hi, Richard. My cat is addicted to catnip. He tries to rip the poster of you. My poster of you. I tried pooping in his... The massive M... Ayo, what's up, Big Richard? <laughs> I think he means me when he says that. Um, it's the massive M here. Richard, I've been having a problem recently. I've, I've been uh, pouring up a four almost every day now and selling bricks straight from the stove. Not to mention can't stay away from my purebred pit on phonum grave period size. Well... <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm ex- very excited that things are going so well um, with your um, your school program. Okay. Pastor Wells says, Good evening, Mr. Burnish. I turned into your amazing program to leave a Christian quote by me. It's in German, and it means live, love, and laugh. Take your time and repeat it quickly to truly absorb his power. I am Sofa King. We taught it. <laughs> it sounds like I'm from Berlin, doesn't it, chat? I'm going to say it again. Okay. I am so fucking uh, we Todd Ed. Thank you for that. I love meeting people, people from new cultures. This one here comes in from Susan, who says, Dear Mr. Burnish, We'd like to humbly thank you for getting our son uh, into volunteer work. Well, you're very welcome. And I'm glad to see that he's he's doing better. Um, he's doing so much better lately. That's great. 
That's great. I'm so glad that he's off of the, 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 the cocaine. Please accept this donation of $250. Kind regards, Susan. Well, thank you, Susan. And I'm glad that he's on the right track. Let's go over to line 31 where we have uh, Jacob. Jacob, go ahead. Hello. You're, you're live on uh, the program. Welcome to the show. Hello. Um, I was wondering what was going on with you and Leroy as of late. Well, um, well, Hello? previously, well, previously on the program, the old, the old program, um, there was a lot of rough talk, and there was a native man <laughs> of the name Leroy Sinclair that was trying to to engage in in a fight into into a, a match with me and uh, with Christian. In martial arts, a fight. Um, now we we yeah. both. Uh, I guess I I'll just cut the story short. Um, Leroy didn't make weight, is what happened. Um, Leroy wasn't able mm -hmm. to get down to a weight of uh, below five hundred pounds to uh, compete and be safe. Um, the doctors felt mm -hmm. that he could pass they, with that type of stress on his heart. Um, that it would not be safe for him. Ah. Yeah. Uh, so the fight's off? Well, it, for now, until Leroy, you know, we're, we're, we're wishing him the best and perhaps that he can mm -hmm. lose some of this weight and he can make weight and that will be, uh, it'll be a safe fight for, for everybody. But for right now, he's, um, he's a little bit like, um, he's a bit of a hut. I don't know if you've watched the the film Star Wars, but he looks like that character. Um, uh, yeah. He, um, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully he gets to do that. Also, Jesus does love gays. Did you get that one? Uh, this comes in from Mark. This is glorious day. Please help. I've recently started fisting people and managed to fist my dog. Now I'm. Okay. When I talk about fisting, fisting should only be done in the gym. Okay. That's something that should happen. Josh says Leroy the Hut. That's exactly accurate. Leroy the Hut. But fisting should not be done with animals. You know better than that. Okay, let's hop on the line 15 here. We have Don. Don, are you? Can you hear me, Don? Hello, Richard. This is Don Keenuts, and I got a bone to pick with you, sir. What seems to be the issue? Yeah, so last week, a young lady named Vanessa, she called into the show, and she claimed you, Richard Burnish, got her knocked up. Is this true, Richard? No, that is very not true. That is not, not true, no. Richard, are you lying to me right now? I wouldn't lie. Well, um, how do you know Vanessa? Well, she called. I don't know her personally. But Animal she abuse is into not the cool. Show. Animal abuse? Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't speaking with you. Go ahead. I don't know Vanessa personally, but I was watching the stream last week when she called in and claimed you got her pregnant. That's completely um, that. I think that was a um, someone making prank on the show. They were calling up and doing a prank. Now, Richard, I know you got some issues with your father. Is that why you don't want to commit to this young woman? No. What do you What do you mean issues with What do you mean by What do you, what do you mean by issues with my father? Uh, I mean, I hate to break it to you, Richard, but uh, it seems like you and your father you're not on the best of terms. What do you mean, my me and my father? Um, my dad and I, he, he, he cares a lot about. He, he was not proud of you, Richard. When he uh, called into the stream last week, he was, he was not proud of you. 
Good one. Uh, good one. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, no. Yeah. He's he's uh, he's he's he's. Yeah. So, uh, are you going to commit to this young woman you got pregnant with? You? Or are you just going to sweep the child under the rug like he did to you? <laughs> when you, we'll be right back. Hello. Am I live right now? Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah. So I was at my dad's house the other night. Him and his buddies—they started running a train on my ass. Not one of them gave me a reach around the entire time. And they, they didn't use lube either. I was just getting dry fucked for two hours straight. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. This is Don. Hi. Uh, um, where's, is this Richard? Nigger, 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 nigger. <laughs> That's ignorant. That's so ignorant. That's ignorant. You mean ignorant. Ignorant. Frank. Frank. I'm voting for Hitler this presidential no, season. No, stop. Stop. You all are being ignorant. Wait for Richie. God, I, wish, being I wish the big he was here. I wish the big he was here. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm jacking, I'm jacking the dog right now. Oh, no. That's ignorant. That's, that's due to work. That's, 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 oh, God, no. The dog, just, the dog just came in my mouth. The big E is about to jerk him off, too. Oh, my God. No, that's that's too much. Stop. Uh, oh, I my need God, Richard. I need Richard. I need, I need to talk mouth. to him. I need to talk to Michael. Shut up. Shut up. You're being ignorant. You're being so ignorant. I just I want to talk to Richard. I need to talk to Richard. I'm trying to Four talk to Richard seven. about my problems. I'm Don't not going to finish my butt. Oh, no. Richard. Richard. Richard, can you hear me? I need your help. Oh, it's big. A dog did it. Oh, my God. It's I'm so nuts. big. You... Stop it. That's not, that's not the dog. Doggy doggy not the dog. You're, I have a problem you're with doggy dick. Doody work. I have a problem. Doody work. Do work. I have a... I'm not a nun. I'm not a nun. You're ignorant. You're ignorant. I'm ignorant. Dude. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just because I have a doggy dick. Uh, ignorant. Um... Ain't ain't what the fuck? He's, he's the one doing sexual acts on a dog. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to? No. You want to come over? You want to jerk the dog together? You want to jerk the dog? No. No. I, that, that's not. That's doo doo work. That's doo doo work. Doo doo work. Oh my god! I want to jerk the dog so bad. Oh my god. Dude, stop! Come on! Come on! Oh, come on! Just finish my mouth. This is a family program. This is a family come over, program. Come over, the come over to the rug. Come on. Is this bad? This is a, Come on, over the rest. Stop it! Stop! 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 day 
I'm Councilwoman Dr. Renee Baskerville, and I'm very excited to share this news with you. Once again, the Township of Montclair will be partnering with City Green Veggie Mobile Truck. We'll be coming into the south end of Montclair to the Community Saving Bank parking lot located at 323 Orange Road to bring fresh fruits and vegetables, flowers, honey, eggs, and other opportunities to the Township of Montclair. We're so excited to join our partners, Hackensack Meridian Mountainside Healthcare, along with the Partners for Health. Partners for Health do so many things in our township. Good evening and welcome to Greater Montclair. Tonight we're going to be looking at the issue of hunger right here in the Montclair community. Think for a moment, if you would, about the last time you were really hungry. Maybe you missed breakfast, maybe you even missed breakfast and lunch. Well, that gnawing pit in your stomach at about 3 to 4 o'clock goes away when you eat your next meal. But what happens for those who don't know where their next meal will be coming from? Believe it or not, in the United States now, estimates are that one in seven Americans goes hungry. We also know that children suffer from hunger in particular. Hi, I'm John Romero, and you're watching The Ark on Montclair Public Access, TOS TV3. Wow, the Bible, I mean, what a magnificent thing. Um, the Bible has many, uh, like, like a book, it's a book. It's, it's kind of like a book. The Bible's kind of like a book. Richard Burnish, and this is Into the Light, a Richard Burnish Senior um, production. And a special thank you goes to everybody at home watching on Montclair Public Access, TOS TV3 on C-SPAN, and everybody online in the internet who are using technology to help spread to spread each other around for the sake of worship our prayer lines are open at one nine oh nine three four five six four three four and this is into the light <laughs> our um, printer uh, fax um, what it is it's 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 a machine where you send a uh, you have a piece of paper that has a picture on it and if you, you send it through the machine to 
um, to the machine here, then my machine makes a piece of pi a picture that has the same picture that yours has. Pictures, pictures like this. Let's say the uh, um, the R family says. Um, sometimes people don't want to use their name, so it says hello, Mr. Burnish. My wife and I have been on the planet for a long time, and we're glad to see that there are still people with as much faith as you. Um, you're helping us get through this hard time. Thank you, Mr. Burnish. To Mr. Burnish, thank you for getting through the difficult times. You're very welcome. Or messages like this from Montclair English as a Second Language Center saying, Hi, Richard. The teachers from Montclair Sunday School want to thank you for your countless contributions to the students and the building itself. Uh, we appreciate your donations and hope you visit us very soon. We'll be there very soon. I love children. I love getting my hands in there and just teaching um, teaching them about our, bo our bodies. Or like this. Um, from Todd, who says, Hi, Richard. Um, I've been struggling with some homo tendencies lately. How much P90X should I be watching every day to overcome this? Um, it's not so much watching the P90X that's going to help. Um, what you need to do is you need to actually practice um, doing the P90X exercises. Uh, you know, the ones that have sh uh, Shanti? Like those ones. You have to uh, do the exercises. But thank you. Um, this one comes in from Sass Goblin. Goblin. I don't remember how to say that. I don't, I don't, it's not sure. Um, look, Richard, uh, we need wider burgers and not tall burgers. I hate when I go to the cafeteria on the ark and they are like, try our extra thick, juicy meat. Try our extra thick, juicy meat. Um, I'm having trouble reading the font on this one. Uh, can you make the font? Chad, can you make the font bigger on... Oh, because it's a print. Okay. I'll just try harder. Okay. Um, try our extra thick, juicy meat big boy burger and expect me to unhinge my jaw like a snake to take up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Or, or, or this one here from Adam, who says, I was uh, spectating one of your recent CMMA matches, and I couldn't help but notice that your boxing shorts gave you the deepest Ouija. Ouija. I don't do Ouija. That's black magic. Um, I've ever seen this side of Mississippi. May I suggest before next match you rub some... You have, a, you have a strong match. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, Spence Rogers says, please accept this donation of $500. I will accept it on behalf of, of Jesus. I really support the work you're doing here. Uh, I know this money will do a lot of good. It will do a lot of good. And I just want to make it super clear to everyone. I don't do Ouija. Um, that's not, that is a path to, that's the devil. That's the devil's work right there. I don't do spells or any of that stuff. I just want to make the record say that I don't do Ouija. This one here comes in from 
uh, Nikolai, who says, Richard, a few weeks ago, I needed your wisdom to save my son from video games. I got tough with him and forced him, sorry, and forced the games out of the house. Well, that's a great decision. That's a great, that's a great move, Nikolai. Um, and made him play baseball instead. But today, I found this pillow in his bed. Well, that's not the kind of thing you want to be showing. Okay, um, we'll just do. We'll do one last one. Then we'll take more. Uh, answer the calls. This one comes in from Doctor Renee Baskerville. Glorious day, viewers. Our Lord says, "Sow your seed, don't eat your seed." So come and eat another man's seed at the Montclair Seed Sharing Festival, August eighth to August fifteenth. Proudly sponsored by Swinging Richards Dance Bar from. You said that if I changed, the, if I made the changes, that this type of thing wouldn't happen. You said that. Well, no. The only reason I cut my that I cut my hair. Now you may ask yourself, where is it that this power comes from? And who gives it to us? Do you find it when you wake up and have that pot of coffee? No, you do not. Do you find it in your business successes? No, it's material and hollow and empty. You see, I met someone one time. His name? Richard Burnish, the author of the Neon Bible. And Mr. Burnish taught me that your belief is not fake, it's faith. And there's power in that, people. There's power in belief, there's power. Every morning when you wake up and your knees strips. hit the floor. Y'all only chicken strips? I only eat chicken strips. Only chick, yeah, I like some tendies. <laughs> and welcome back. Um, we have Christian on line 37. Uh, welcome to the program, Christian. 
Um, well, anyways, uh, I've been Christian, having I've been Christ having a lot of uh, Christian. Can yeah. you? Sorry. Welcome to the program. You're live on the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Um, so I've been having a lot of digestive issues lately. Like, I go to um t to I, I guess um empty my excrement into the toilet, and it's all pebbles and been having for a while and i think i think it might be maybe satan's work I, i'm not i'm not too sure because sometimes it kind of looks like a, a devil's like looking back at me when i when i look into the toilet and then it's kind of starting to get to me and i'm uh you know i'm just hoping you can give me like a, a prayer or a blessing to maybe help this um <laughs> subside it's fix. i'm gonna fix it i'm gonna fix it Thank you, Richard. What you mentioned? What does it look like when you look into the when you look into the bowl? Um, what, what does it? What would you say that it it looks your your it looks like? Well, it can it can change um, a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes I, I swear I like look at it and it looks like like a, a picture of Satan, like his head just looking back at me, and it it really uh, it taxes my mental health. And, um, I, you know, it, it's just really not pleasurable. Do you have a meat allergy? Are you allergic to anything? Uh, I don't believe so, no. When you look, when you look at the unit, does it have um, well, any... It's not really a unit. It's more like a bunch of pebbles. I think okay. I have like a... Okay, when you look at one of the units, does it appear to have any... Um, uh, any any marbling? You familiar with like a ribeye like a ribeye steak? Have you seen a ribeye steak? Um, uh, hold on, give me a second. Okay. We'll uh, look that up. Marbling, yeah, I'd, I'd say. So does it have some marbling? Yeah. Okay. So, um, do you, do you, I've seen this type of thing before. You have. And Yes, I have. And don't don't be worried. Don't be ashamed of this. Um, if you're seeing marbling in your feces, that's something that um, sometimes happens. And you're ex you're exactly right. It's it's it, what happens is is it's a sickness uh, in your digestive uh, tract is what happens, and it can only be uh, helped out through um, through prayer. So. If everybody at home can please bow your heads for the man with the marble poop, marbles in his. Um. Now, when I say marbles, I I don't mean actually marbles. I mean like marbling. You have you have you inspected it? Have you opened it and in, and inspected uh, inspected all the? Have you looked at it in close? Uh yeah, I I, I have done that before. Um, sometimes it'll actually be read. That that's what really um pushed me to believe that it's um. It might be Satan's work, because you know okay. Red is uh, that devil. All right. Uh, you All know. right. Okay. Uh, could you please place your hand on your television set? Uh yes, yes, sir. Dear Lord, I uh, ask upon you today in Jesus' name, Amen. To consider, call it. What is your name? Christian, is it? Uh, it's Christian. Yeah. Christian. Yeah. Okay. That's a good name. That's a that's a great name. If I could Thank be you. named anything other than Richard, it'd be Christian. Um, because I'm because because I'm a Christian. That's why I said that. Okay, stop talking, please. This is the part where I'm talking. Um, Lord, I ask that you uh, relieve Christian of the, the the devils inside of his intestinal tract that are causing his feces to do marbles and make marbling. And and, 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 and and come out in, in in multiple units instead of one so, so I ask you as your humble servant to relieve him of this issue to cure him of this problem and uh, allow his body to process the the the, the the into a one long um like a like a tube like a long tube and one single uh a d one single delivery in your name amen thank you 
You're very, you're very welcome, Christian. You should feel um, a lot better very soon. Okay. Let's go over here. Rob Halford says, Hello, Richard. Why are you denying our... Here's a photo we tried to... <laughs> okay. Um... Hi, um, Richard. Okay. This one comes in from um, Packy J, who says, I really support what you're doing here. I wish you and Chad well. Well, thank you very much for your well wishes. Okay. Or this one. Who says, um, it looks like you are stuck in your dad's big white void, Richard. <laughs> Good one. That's a, 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 um. Anyway, bad news. We got milk. We got the water, but we ain't got no coffee. Uh, we've had to close. It's just um, as well because we got an appointment. A cut and so <laughs> I um I just want to apologize um to to my father Richard uh, Burnish Sr. for some of these um jokes that we've been getting and 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 I hope and I pray for forgiveness that understanding that that it it's um it happens on the show sometimes and there's a lot of people trying to to ruin it for her. hello <laughs> hi um welcome to the show this is the arc um christian Welcome. Um, the printer lines are open, so uh, please uh, uh, donate now. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute here. We, we, we have a message coming from the real RJ Fisher who says this is not funny. Can everyone please uh, acknowledge the real RJ Fisher for one moment? If you could type in the uh, the at sign with the, the the squiggly and and type his name in there and tell him that uh, he is can go watch Dexter or something like that because it's 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 a free world where he can watch many different types of things and if he doesn't like things about Chris, Christian networks then I wish him the best on his journey into into hell. So if anyone. I thought we all could welcome his arri uh, his departure to hell together like that. Thank you. And him too. The DX3 can also uh, take his voyage into hell. Amen. Because this, this is not what we're about here. Okay, we're about... Uh, changing lives when I'm reaching down here and I'm reaching for these the, for these things that are coming out of the, the, these printers these are real this is testimony uh, of changing lives okay this is changing changing lives changing lives like this life here Gareth who says because I race um, sorry before every race I read from the neon by uh, I read from the neon Bible I put my faith into you because of that. When I crashed, I had no injuries. My faith and your love saved me. Thank you. Well, let me tell you about something. The real Jay Fisher. I don't see anyone in here else t telling telling you that you help them. Or the D, uh, X3, DX3. I don't see anyone in here typing uh, how you save them. Okay? So, listen. Maybe when you get on my level... 
okay? Then we'll maybe listen to what you have to say. Until then, please recognize your position in this in this in this hierarchy, okay? It goes God, Richard, the whole chat room, and then you. So uh, I ask that you consider that for future um, sentiments. Thank you. Where was I? Okay. Or this one here um, from Jeff uh, Jefferis, who says, Hello, Richard. I've been working with the U.S. government to interrupt the Chinese government. TikTok has been corrupting uh, the kids' minds these days. I would love if you could. <coughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, I, I would love if you could say a prayer for them. So that I can get back to corrupting. The okay. Let's go over to line 38. Here. Um, uh, uh, welcome, Travis, to the program. Um, you're, you're, <laughs> can you hear me okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear me? I hear you loud uh, and clear, Travis. Now, from what I understand, <laughs> you're you're having a bit of a problem with um, your son. Is that correct? Your son, your son John, is upset with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's tell me a little bit more about some of the things John has been doing. Well, um, I, I actually I don't have a son. I just wanted to come on, and I really want to tell you that I like your suit. It's really cute. I don't know if it's Joseph A. Banks. It looks like Joseph A. Banks. You look like the the men from men from Black. <laughs> Listen, I don't. The show is not about race. This is about uh, doing. Um, no, you know Will Smith and uh, Tom, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> The men, Listen, the I don't want you calling up here making fun of 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 blacks Will Smith. Okay, I don't want to have any of that because because some because to me, uh, black Will Smith is the same as as every every other person. Everything is equal. We're all on. We're all equal. We're all equal now, and you need to accept that, or you can get out of here. Okay, because I'm not going to celebrate that type of performance from you so grow up and recognize all right we have john on line 40. john can you hear me hello richard hello john welcome to into the light Hello, Richard. Hello. I am tech support from India. My name is John Volt. Well, I just want to say, Mike, thank you. I love that you um, appreciate what we do, Mike. 5449. Thank you, Mike. So, yeah, tech support from where is it who, from? Who, who is Mike? What the fuck? Who, who, who is Mike? Did you get that one? I am John Volt. I saw your internet activity, that's why I'm calling you. And I saw lots of pictures of naked midgets, you horny bastards. One video said, throat fucking a Native American midget while he plays with my dangling foreskin. What the fuck, Richard? Why are you such a horny bastard? 
Richard, you son of a bitch. Get that one. What? What you say, bitch? Sounds. It sounds like you're you you're you're the type of caller who roasts goats in his living room. I'm going to go over to line 40. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on um, the program. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Welcome to the program. Hello? Can you please turn down your television set, caller? That would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Sorry. One second. One second. Um, well, okay, I got it. Are you there? I'm I'm here. So, I'm reading here on 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 my screen that your you and your roommate are having some disagreements. Yeah, um, that as well. But um, I'm actually involved in a church group here locally in uh, Montana, and we're actually doing like this trivia thing tonight for your show. We've actually sent in a lot of your your positive upkeepings on the printer. And we were just trying to find new ways to donate money to uh, inspirational people like you. And so if you just had a few moments, could we ask you a trivia question? If so, we will donate $200 to your stream. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Of course. Okay. It's just an easy question. Um, it's just think of like basic household items that you would mm -hmm. find in your living room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. The question yeah. is. Like lamp or something. Can you right? get. Can you guess what's in my right hand? Um, I'm going to say a, a television remote control. Oh, Richard, you were so close. I'll have another question for you, but do you want to know the answer to the first question? Yeah, what was it? It was a big, juicy dog wiener. Do you have time for the second question? Okay. Um, let's go over to the, the the lines here, where we have um, a message coming over <laughs> from Jim Davis, who says, "Hi, Richard. I became a member of the Church of the Neon Bible last week, and I have to say the community is the friendliest group of people I've ever met in the whole of California. Love the show. Well, thank you." Jim, and uh, we thank you for your donation. Um, this is an anonymous donation. That's always exciting, isn't it? Um, Olivis Klausoff from Canada. I try uh, Olivis Klausoff from Canada. I try and make my life all about you. Eh? Back in my youth... I rang the devil's doorbell too much. Led me down a dirty treasure trail of lies. But I have the ark now. You mean you have into the light now. And I'm always hard for you, Richard. Only Richard keeps me warm in the Canadian cold. Well, I'll keep you cold at warm in any cold. In any cold, I will keep you warm. This one comes in from Don, who says, I thought you looked familiar. I went to the Montclair Community College with your pappy. He was so baked in this picture, I'm the guy next to him. Tell him to call me, me sometimes. <laughs> Good. Um. Okay. Um, Pedro says they told me to study Constitution, but instead I studied your word, your words, in Y O U capitals. Uh, because of that, I aced my citizenship test, and now I'm a proud American. Thank you, Richard, for helping me achieve my dream. Well, I'm very happy for you, uh, Pedro. Anything for a uh, 
a Mexican man. I'll do anything for a Mexican. Lana says, hi, Richard. It's Lana from uh, the last church get together. I really loved how hard you were and how great of a fister you are. Well, I like to fist. I, I really do. I really hope I can see you again so I can feel God come inside me. I hope to see you again too, Lana. I really do. We're going to keep doing these. I, I enjoy these. These make me feel great about myself. Um, SEAL Team 6 says, Richard, this is Special Agent Araney with the U.S. Navy. My team and I are monitoring you from outside the military compound where you're being held. Please rest assured that I'm not in a... Um, I just want to make it super clear that I'm here for... Uh, not by force. Like, all of these changes and all of these things that are 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 all my choice. And Richard Burnish Sr. is merely helping the program um, become stronger. Okay. And we'll, we'll be... Um, right back with um, more calls okay we, we I, I uh, it turns out I I can't take a break right now it's 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 not a good time for taking a break um, but that was my choice to not take a break because I, I don't I didn't need I didn't want to take a break okay We gotta um, uh, look at these um, from Alfonso, who says, "Richard, I put trust in you in the Ark. I've lost everything buying uh, calls uh, on the Ark because a Richard Burnish Senior Production. This, okay. Um, Cielo Blank says." CeeLo Blank says, Hi, Richard. My husband was diagnosed with cancer a few months ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. But after prayer and plenty of donations to your church, he's now in remission. God is good. God is good. And I'm happy that your husband is doing better. I'm so happy. Oh, it's upset. Sorry, my glasses needed a fixing. Chris says, glad to see the arc. Uh, glad to see the work happening on the arc. Um, hope to see things get underway in the new future. And that's the site of the arc right there. That's what it's looking like right now. I'm glad. Ian says, thank you so much, Richard. You have given me great joy in my life. Keep up the good work. God bless. You're welcome, Ian. Or th uh, this one who says, Bog... Okay, don't... <laughs> don't type... The, uh, don't type... Don't type... That's... Okay. It'd be. I think the time is great for a, a, a short intermission, right now, to uh, take a short intermission. Um. But, um. But in a few moments, we'll take we'll take one. It's it's not. Uh, I don't want to go just yet. I was okay. Um, okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll be right. We'll be right. Um, I'll be right back <laughs> after these short messages.
One. Bring it back. Hello. Hello, everyone, and, and welcome um, back uh, um, to the to the show. There's been thank you, everybody, for for tuning in. Um, there's been a lot of um, um, uh, problems with the, uh, the 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 number of. We are sorry, but the show has ended. Goodbye. Did you join the show? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we did. We uh, we both decided that there was too many uh, prank calls that were coming in, um, so we've both decided to end the show. Um, a little uh, end the phone, shut down the phone lines uh, uh, for a moment, and focus on some of our uh, vows of faith that have have come in here. Um, Um, like this one here who says, Richard, what's up? I found out about you and the live show. Hopefully we can project. Okay. No, it just didn't change anything. It didn't, it didn't. You said. If I changed my hair, and if I if I cut it off and it didn't look like a lesbian, and it looked like a lesbian, that this would stop. Calm down, Richard. You said, I will not calm down. 